Welcome everyone to a matches only video from us here at the Coliseum. We have taken one of our full shows and condensed it down to get right to the action. Get ready to watch match after match of insane Mortal Kombat competition. Like the video and subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. Let us know your favorite match in the comments below. Without any further ado, let's get right to the combat. Uh, stringed into the Shadow Kick potentially will get that carry as well. So looking forward to see what we got here for Pop-Tart up against King Gambler. One of the biggest weaknesses of Janet is actually setting her up. So that's going to be key. Yeah. You know, we see all these flashy things, but who's going to be able to actually get her on the screen and get her cooking? King Gambler, on the other hand, always cooking with his Johnny Goro team. When is it going to be your turn? And team, is it ever your turn? Ooh. Plus, then to back it up and cobbling off a throw. There's Wait. a in the ninja that's hurt. Right. Yeah, but now, they never see it with Johnny Jan. It's all about double cage. I'm, I'm scared of this just on the principle of things, right? Two Johnny cages? Who wants to fight against two two cages? It, two? Yeah, think of this as only two because we had to go up against three in the story mode and that changed everything okay knockdown for gambler in the side slot corner to keep things locked down again with goro neutral jump doesn't get challenged at all i'm not gonna get a big hit here and this should scale beautifully breakers there available for king gambler though saves himself some life 40 seconds on the clock and he puts out a wall says you're not gonna be coming to me use it to load some of that the sweet distance spaced perfectly into Goro, the timing, execution, everything about that was just a master chef quality meal from King Gambler. Yeah, absolutely. Really good use of the bomb setup there to try to at least get a little bit of charge in the background for uh high unit, but nothing doing there quite yet. Already has that round to take over is King Gambler. Stagger, good stand block. Be a sweep, avoids that parry. Oh, Let's see what it is going to be. Oh, not even just the safe jump. We didn't go for that jump to scenario here. So we just got the grounded normals to get the full combo in the corner. And what a dominant round. I mean, you want to go for stunt double combos, which becomes so potent in the combo routing for Johnny here. We'll see if that ever comes up. But, uh, you know, we're seeing a lot of just the jump punch carry into the corner, or just at least extension. Mime set up there to chip away at Janet just a little bit. But we get, look how much hype meter we already got for it. And just by hitting Janet right there, it didn't get rid of her. I wonder if she has a health mechanic or if that takes away something from meter. I actually wasn't paying attention to her. There's so yeah. many unknowns about Janet because she's so technical. There's so many moves and elements to her. Yeah, so that Mime Stance will take at least one hit from the opponent and you can delay that to linger it out. And that's what we've seen a couple times here from Pop-Tart to kind of stand out there before it goes away. Ooh. And the execution's been crisp from him to get the triple Janet punches as well. Not easy to execute. A lot of people are talking about that here. Just get a clean whip on us when it trades. It's basically both these guys have been immaculate. Yeah, nice little back four, but now it gets really scary because you're going into the blood. Oh, actually, Goro off the field. So this is a big opportunity for Pop Tart as long as he didn't get hit by this scenario. The EX Shadow Kick will wrap up the round for Gambler. He's fit himself here. He's coming as the one seed. He played way more matches than he even needed to to qualify your zero. That was one of the big storylines coming in is you only need to play yes. eight matches in the two and a half hours to qualify for the top eight. And he played, I don't know, what, 14 matches today? Is it sometimes he averages 16? The dude's just a gamer. He takes experience as it is. Yeah, you know, if you ever tune in for, oh my goodness, what a back three. <laughs> Jesus Christ. If you ever tune in for a King Gambler stream, Gambler is hungry for just getting better and a constant competition. We see it time and time again, just this kid leveling up every single tournament he shows up for, takes that one single hit and backs off because that does mean it's gonna be an opportunity for Pop-Tart to challenge. And that's another time a Pop-Tart mm -hmm. tried to catch a whip punish and just barely missed time. It's a block stun compared to Lau, but that low hat opens up possibilities for quick overheads and be very difficult to block situations from Pop-Tart. I think you absolutely nailed it right there. You know, you, you saw what Janet was all about and cashing out the damage, but what did it bring to the table in the offense and in the neutral when it came to Johnny Cage? Not much versus Lau hat. Mm -hmm. Gonna give him the mix up. Ooh. All right, be a break. Wants to hold on to this corner and it's a great call. The shadow kick. Where are you going, Goro? He's supposed to be the homie. Right, like you, oh, you're in the background cheering me on? Like, come on, you're supposed to be brave. There it is. He's on the big cooldown too. He went night night. Yeah. The sun that takes got a lot real of energy. low, but Pop has a lot of offense. Let's see if he can find a hit. He's got three bars to cook with too. We get a forward throw, which is just more time for Goro. One of the things about Mortal Kombat, outside looking in, is just how long throws take, and it adds up. Yeah, it, it really does, depending on the character too. Like I was just getting cooked up by Lee May throws and those look way worse than they actually are. 
you better pray that there's not a land out. Oh, what oh, kind of madness did he actually get? I respect your warrior skills. <laughs> that was awesome looking. That was amazing. The sh movement. King Gambler can see all the frames. I thought it was a thunder mirror in Killer Instinct for a second. Oh, I see you. I see you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going back. Zero. Okay, I think it's time. You're going back? Oh, they just. Killer Beautiful Instinct update just hit for that. Update. It is yeah. a wonderful game, guys. Play Killer Instinct. <laughs> Knockdown down here, nut punch to end it all. All right. No up block on these overheads. It's so difficult to try to up block a Johnny stream because you have to guess whether or not Johnny's actually going to commit to those overheads. But we do find the hit there. Pop tart. Able to take a round right back from King Gambler. And this Lao switch is definitely paying dividends for Pop Tart. King Gambler slowed down and it's actually stopped. You know, what has been, I hate to say it like the zero, but it's just been outspacing on behalf of King Gambler. And that Lao hat has made up for it. Absolutely right there. I think there's pressure right now. Look, the stagger uppercut here. And even though we were talking about how, you know, a character like Johnny uh, Janet doesn't have a lot of mix-ups, there's a mix-up right there that Gambler creates. Not overhead low, but poke, poke or poke special. And it is right. a mix-up on paper. <laughs> it, and that's, oh, wow, wow. Nice, I think that was the stand. Oh, oh but drop the air combo. Should have committed to it. I wonder if we got better Oki off that situation though if we drop early. I'm not sure. Alright, nice little throw. Gonna make him play dead for a second. Ooh. Get my match point. You know what? Love to moving away from the hat. Yeah, this is so scary because King Gambler loves to do this back dash game to kind of force the opponent to commit to a forward dash and will sneak in like either an overhead or a quick shadow kick because the shadow opponent is committed over, to those dashes. Yeah. Oh, good tech. And again, yeah, I dare you to come in because 15 seconds left on the clock. You have to make the mistake here. Oh, no. Opened up a little bit too early there. Still has a life lead. Just barely, though. Number 10 calls it out. And unbelievable. With five seconds to go, he chopped out our coming. Lord and Savior, the chosen one. The, the fighting the, defend the, Earth Realm. The single most hyped character to watch in the FGC's history, Zero Syndicate. Why? Look, I'm feeling attacked right now suddenly. Wait a minute. <laughs> Am I not allowed to play Raiden out here? I mean, yeah, this matchup is kind of interesting because, like, in the full screen scenario, Raiden does have some tools, like, as far as teleporting. You could go for Electric Fly. But with the fact that you have backed up with Kano, that can really help your approach. But Sindel could be so relentless with the assist from Chameleon, depending upon the cycle you go through. Jade's gonna be a nightmare to deal with. Of course. Ooh! Whoa! Last man. Was just if they, Kano if it wasn't for Kano, that man wasn't playing Mortal Kombat One until mm. Kano came in with the assist. I'll tell you that because Holudi is cooking right now. Great coverage with, with the Kano though. It's what this team's all about, guys. Raiden Kano is all about hiding Kano, and Kano actually caught a straight there, full screen, and avoided some pressure. We still see the store himself. A nice float away by Ludi, which is baiting some of the normals of Raiden uh, right there. See, it's kind of tough to go for that 4-1 uh, challenge there. The the lush shaker, as I like to call it, from Sindel. You kind of have to pull her in with Raiden. He does have some great whip punish opportunities on that, but the neutral jump should have gotten you something, at least the jump two starter. Nice electric fly. Here we go. Call out the wake up too. Good patience. Meterlessly, not enough here. Looks for some chip and a great call out by Ludi. Recognize the space. Ludi can get him in time. And went for the dirty mix, the raw Molina roll, the double, the armor breaking double overhead. Not working there as Wits stays alive. Classic. Okay, no. Oh. That, that knife range. It's brilliant. You, you know, we set up Kano, make you forget about it because he's off screen. Nice electric fly, no jumping for you. Forward, forward, doesn't work out, but we got the push away thanks to Storm Cell here. And you know people are comfortable with their cameos zero in this game when you see them do stuff like that and then just block and look to wait to react to what happens behind it. Yeah, yeah uh, it's, it's so like integral that. to the game too to really just pay, especially when you look at like the chameleon assist there, right? Like you have a little bit of safety with Katana set up, but now you got to think about, all right, Molina is on deck here. I got to watch for ball, watch for aerial pickups on there too. But Kano definitely able to get the hits for Wits here to get the follow up. Nice. Still alive here as we try to try to keep this slightly monetized here on YouTube. <laughs> that is what the colorization is for, everyone. 
We'd have people ask every single week. It sucks him in with a storm cell, gets the extra chip, and he's gonna jail. No, Ludi tried to bait him. With a poke. A block wasn't there, but the flawless block, and that was perfectly staggered. Because everything that you want to do after he Teleport start here. No challenge on the chameleon summon. Just gets to go off into the night. No follow up there. Wasn't close enough for the stand, too, to get the full combo around. I'll try to get that electric fly to follow through. Shocker. Full combo route here, looking at about like 360 range, 342 for there. Yeah, because Kano wasn't available to get that full extension right after. What a wake up. Oh, and you can call it the wake up Molina attempt there by Ludi. Only option without the bar. Some advantages there for the throw. You know, for the armor break setup too, it's, it's been on Wits' mind this entire time. And gorgeous anti air If only we would have seen that going to the fatal blow for the win. Mm -hmm. Another clutch block and does have the range to punish. Perfectly timed forward dash cancel. I wonder, we could have done a shocker. In, if it would have been a meter burn shocker, we could have done a 4 3 4 to get the full combo carry to kill, especially with no meter on the side of Ludi there. So, small course correction there from, from Wits could have gotten you the route. There we go. It has to go to the 4 2 2. To extend there, we got the safety net of Kano on the jump in. Oh, trying to take it to the skies and able to help out Ludi with a little bit more zoning pressure. Nice with the down four. Down three. Jeez, set up by Wits. Yeah, I still ate a mix up off of that stand one. Trapped in the corner, no. Says I'm out of here. The privilege of having the amulet right there. You guys are seeing it live. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Raiden was still cooking without the amulet at the beginning of the story, all right? Like, he's still good. Whoa! He has caught a couple of crazy anti airs in the startup of the projectiles of Sindel as she doesn't appear to exist when she goes up into a bottle. Begin game number three. We appreciate you guys being here and joining some Mortal Kombat 1 with us. I haven't got to see a ton of Janet so far, but I'm still hopeful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still pretty early on, but she's, you know, has so much potential there. Hopefully we get to see it. Nice knives. Able to get the 2-4 series confirmed. I want to see one Gento set up. One Gento, that's it. <laughs> Ooh. Nice blow up on the 4-2-2 there from uh, Ludi. Nice blocks. Yeah, now we're starting to recognize when the Kano summon is there. Ludi is kind of losing track of like the resource here, it seems like. If you watch the, the cameo meter, you can kind of tell if Kano was actually summoned out for these dangerous scenarios that uh, Wits has been putting themselves into. Either way, Ludi has been doing pretty solid on the neutral. Ooh! That's a nasty trade right there, but you're right. It's, it's one of the keys and probably the matchup that you guys want to actually look up at your opponent's cameo from time to time, if not all the time. There it is, but was able to stay ducking for that one there. That actually worked out in favor of Ludi to keep going with the low three. Ooh, that's gonna cost him big though. And that is also a mix up because when you know that Kano has been used off screen because you're looking at, at, at Kano, right? And so you see half of them get used, you're like, okay, something's coming. It's still 50-50 because you can stay crouched right there mashing down three, but if you did ball roll, it's getting smoked. What a yes. mix-up that is all the time. And so it's actually a big read there by Ludi to stay low and limbo it. Right. Actually, Kano's down for quite a bit here. I think we got caught by Jade there for that one. Nice challenge with the down one. Pushes away with Storm Cell, so has to hold this. Challenge from Lush Shaker. Nice. Actually caught while jumping. Through. Beautiful position with the restand. Mirror Force activated. Wonder if that was an intentional reset attempt or if that just didn't have enough hit advantage. Yeah. And it's time, but that wasn't mistimed at all. Ludi said that said that swing with his chest. Take it from this so quick, and that's another round in position here. But which has everything he wants. He has a teleport. 
He's got Kano available. Oh, there he is. <laughs> the homie. We thought, we thought Goro was the homie. Kano's always coming. Uh, Kano always has something coming for you here. We gotta start paying attention to that cameo bar from Wits there. And I think Ludi just keeps forgetting about it because, you know, other fighters will traditionally have a projectile or something off screen. It's gone. That's it. It's not coming back. And cameos are the exception to that rule. There's Wits not letting Ludi play for once. Can he finish the deal? Shaker, hold the katana. Get a snipe with the hair. A lot of resources now. Sorry, sorry, a lot of real estate for him to go through. Yeah. Which is which is not Sindel's specialty. Oh. She, she always wants to be going away, not in. Tracking down to the corner though, and this is huge. Didn't have million for the restand. This is just damage on the throw for 130. Yeah. I wonder if we attempted to go for the jump back electric fly in the air to air situation because Wits just going for an empty jump back while we're already in the corner. And you had Ludi almost dead to rights in that scenario there. Nice back throw. Ludi going for float. No anti air attempt from Wits. And I don't blame you. Massive life lead there. Two seconds seen, left. I've never seen such clean patented keep away from Raiden. And he almost cost him everything in the jump back. And then just swings with the armor after 30 up, seconds. Trying to use it as a delayed, you know, meaty, which has been all over it. Yeah, honestly, Ludi has been really trying to fish for a lot of these float mixes that Wits doesn't have to worry about because there's no low to interact with. You're not throwing out Molina Ball as often as you'd like here. Now that you have the consistent Lao hat, you don't have to worry about a timing for the uh, Molina Ball to be available to you. You're just constant low hat, quick refill, and the mix becomes that much more potent for Ludi. Shaker, nice. Oh, the teleport, but hey, you're still able to try to get out of here. But tech on the throw from Wits. Already spent the meter here for the shocker. So wasn't able to get a second bounce, but the scream restand situation here. Ludi putting a round on the board here. Round two. Sorry about that, Zero. I was fixing the YouTube chat uh, thing, and I finally did. I finally got that bot fixed. Got it? Oh, the bot works? <laughs> it, only took, it only took about 45 minutes while being live. Let's go! <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. I'm back here with you. Oh, no. I'm, we're good. We're good. We're still rocking for some of this set here anyways. One round up for Ludi. Full charge? You let Wits go for full charge here? Well, you are at life deficit, so that's fine. When you're up with Raiden, you go for whatever you want, and he was listening to the chat with that one, looking for the anti air shocker. Mm hmm. Use the down forward too, as intended? Wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> Trying to get, get, get some static on her here. Yeah, yeah. Anti air there, no. So, hold the ball. Nice armor cartwheel here. Oh, wow. It's so difficult to try to tell when the 4-1 uh, actually just ends, right? So you have to get at like almost a frame perfect range to get a true whip punish without having to spend Storm Cell to pull uh, Sindel in. You Horde 3 doesn't reach quite fast enough after her recovery there. And at that range, you kind of just have to hold that and wait for the next interaction. Still got the victory here off of that throw, though. Wits, one match point right now. That was really bold because he did the exact same thing prior and it was a uh, micro duck by Ludi yeah. blown up. So he was like, you know what? Do it again. Yeah, no kidding. I scream the after the block overhead. Yeah. Oh, he's going to need some boldness to come back from this one. He's going to get put into what we call uh, a blender situation. I guess mm -hmm. we're going to ah, no one's going to be the overhead that works. Hard block hole situation every single time here with the Lao hat. Good stand block. Great patience from Wits. Nice duck. Are you kidding me? 2 4 series. Lots of work to do though. Jump two, and it's still gonna be Wit's turn. Ludi's been disrespecting the block advantage of knives, which is like only neutral on block in most states. Yeah. But he couldn't go really well. Perfectly timed, and it finally blocked a Superman, and is this Ludi's game? You have to follow up. No Lao hat. Oh, but the Lao DP! There we go! What a route here from Ludi to take it away. The way that Ludi plays is just so overwhelming to deal with, but final game. We set it on fire here when we go the distance. A sudden death here in the Coliseum. I want you guys to get your popcorn ready. Hopefully we got some of the vendors out there in the crowd giving out some smoked turkey legs and some mead or whatever else we're giving out here at the Coliseum. I don't, I don't know what the kids are eating these days. Uh, in the game. But back in the day, it was all about the smoked meats and the mead. Right, yeah. I mean, Cracker Jack was another one, right? You know? 
Hot, get your hot dogs here. We need a hot dog vendor. That's what we need. It's a hot dog vendor. Want the restand? Let's see what gets popping with this one here. Corn carry a massive lead for Looney, and you try to challenge. Or one does find the mark. Nice round. You guys are getting money's worth. We just saw a down one with punish by this man as he ascends here in the arena. 4-4, four, four, not gonna find the mark here. Ludi is stoic on the defense right now. Excellent float, immediate break. Coming out here from Wits. God, he caught the punish of the jump there too. Too early of a confirmation attempt. Dropped because of a hold of the north by Ludi. Got him out of that string and got him some offense here. He's the throw. Kung Lao's gonna say, learn from this. I'm staying in the corner. Never mind. Too. Yo, so Perfect. many teleports here. Back with knives on this one. And Ludi seems to be quite used to these interactions here. At this point, we're challenging with like a down three every single time with low profile, taking the risk of the Kano ball. Oh, nice. There's a counter poke getting cooked. Sets up the Kano. Only gonna get 60 damage off of that. The chip away some more for some health lead. And some defense here could get, definitely get him back in this one. She's got a bar though, which means that next hit can kill. He's only got 318 left in the chamber. Series. Oh my goodness. Just didn't press have to press two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shocked he got away with it. Oh, we're running again. Actually, 18 seconds left. We can run all that we want to. As long as Wits is careful. Oh. Don't risk the back two. It's nice. Just, wait, 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 are you got kidding me? Right there. That was madness. No. <laughs> he's got the lead on five seconds. He lost it. Oh. He's Superman. I don't think that was our reaction at all. I think that was just him putting it out there. He was betting on the Elder Gods' divine intervention, and he got it. Absolutely. It was such a messy scenario here because you could see that the panic started to set in. Like, I went for that overhead attempt. I got challenged, and now I'm in trouble. Safety net of Kano. Final game, final round scenario, folks. That's the power of an accidental or, you know, instinctual Mortal Kombat 11 down two right there. That's <laughs> <laughs> It got him back in, though. And on the lead, Kano was going to save him. This I'm shocked that he didn't get hit on the jump in. Yeah, it's crazy to see that Wits is now playing the runaway game here entirely. And if I know Ludi, Ludi is getting tilted by this play 100%. It is frustrating to deal with when you are the zoner and you're just being avoided entirely by a character like oh, Raiden here. Look, Teleports this, like a fly. Yo, with the knives to save the day. That was sick Kung Lao punish oh, though, and all of that and all it took was one here from Ludi. Yes. Run away all that you want, but eventually I will find my way to you to lock you down in this corner. Restand, this should be a game here for Ludi, and it sure is. And is that gonna be a brutal? No. But a three, two, one. <sighs> this one plays out here because I do like the lockdown here with Cyrax. It'll be tough to try to keep Quan Chi close enough to really get the Sento set up. I would have bad you here, but if you have Cyrax blocking, yo, the teleport, yes. Nice little challenge there. Hard to get the sandwich set up thanks to the helicopter here from Cyrax. Able to get another Sento recharge. All right, down one challenge, Sento down, but we're still out on top here. Epic Zupa. Take this one away, and there's no getting out here for Quan Chi whatsoever. You have to find a mistake from Kenshi, and as we've seen over the last few weeks from Kenshi players in general, there's very few windows of opportunity to really challenge a lot of those sandwich situations. I nice sweep attempt, but not close enough to get the uh, the knockdown here. Purple portal adding more power to those fireballs here. Keep it locked down with the graveyard. Nice teleport. The dive kicks here from Quan. I mean, a little tricky to deal with. Yes, we send it out. You can actually hold out that zone of fear there to push it out, but it takes that bar spin. He's gonna try to push away. Nice, locked into the cage. Excellent here on the throw. It will be easier to submit. Final round. What? What does Quan do with that? Anyways. Look, I'm all for whatever pet you have, but that's a little that's a little much for me here. Alright, nice. Keep it up with the Fujin normals, of course, is Kenshi. I'm back. Welcome back! Oh, right into a sandwich. I didn't know that it was dinner time. 
And thank you so much. We just got a bunch of gifted memberships on the YouTube side of things from Wolf13Red. Thank you so much, man. That's a YouTube equivalent of a Twitch sub. We appreciate that. And everyone who subs on Twitch as well. Thank you to everyone for supporting us here at the Coliseum. The Quanning. It's happening right now. Yes, portal's out. That portal in particular, draining meter from the opponent gives Quan Chi some armor. Depending upon how much meter he drains. Doesn't drain a whole back lot. away from the meter drain, which... That's a fair thing to do. You don't want to give armor to Quan Chi. You don't want to lose your own meter. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Two things. Raw tentacle just occurred. But the second is that he went to a skin that looks like he's actually from the nether realm. I've never yeah. seen this Quan outfit. This is disgusting. It's, it's, your brain is out on the outside. I, I don't know about this one. He looks like a Daedric Prince from Elder Scrolls. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. All right. All right. Speaking of, Elder Scrolls 6-1. Oh, jeez. You know, why, why don't you like Starfield? What's going on? <laughs> no Man's Sky exists. Oh, I see you. You know what? That's really, really fair. Yeah, yeah, you know, let's let's just be honest here. <laughs> let's call it what it is. And the stand three doesn't get whiff punished. Four, two, Try to give it a lick and knock it on the mark. You found that one. Mm -hmm. And welcome back, Sento. Oh, never mind. Go to sleep, big boy. That meter drain is going to chase you. And you know what? I think that's what you take, honestly. It is the meter burn version of that orange portal, but it's going to take a third of your bar. The regular one only takes like maybe like a, a small percentage. So you kind of just run with it instead of running away from it. Unless if you're in absolute need for a single EX version. Yeah, where it's most scary is when you have a breaker because it's going to keep yeah. you from breaking. And yeah. those close out situations. What a block! And that's the option when Quan got the two bars. Go for the epic comeback. And speaking of the wake up buttons, that was just disrespectful, but so smart. Uh, I'll see you later. You know, we had this conversation, me and Tento, uh, I think it was a couple weeks ago, that was what if every character had a passive like Raiden? You know, where yeah. the, the electricity builds up and then he doesn't take chip. And we were talking about other characters, like what it would be. And it was really fun to think about because I, I brought up rain and potentially having like an Aquaman mechanic where he, you know, like the water of life where he would like fall out of a combo. But, but think about all these other characters and what it could be of like a little passive that's always happening. You know, something always building over time, whether you're yeah. blocking or hitting. Yeah, it's, it's very it's, interesting that, that Raiden was the only one to really get something like that. He's not really talked about a whole lot outside of like finally noticing like the question would always come up like why are your eyes glowing bro like what's happening here like Quan, for example like having a passive would be very interesting considering like how he works with portals like why is that like something that we could implement there but it also and adds that versatility and uniqueness of each character yeah that would be unique to fighting games too is just mm -hmm. passives in general and uh one big thing i thought of was like back in mkx like noxious reptile is another one where it's, it's that constant like 0.1 damage that could make or break you oh. so just a cool little unique mechanic and armor armor he doesn't care he's just gonna throw some buttons that's what yes. it, that's that mortal Kombat stuff too is just swinging with armor yeah, Quan Chi being blessed because we got the meter absorption here and yeah we do have epic zupa switching for Ashra here nice anti with the serena yeah Good ducks. Ashra's gonna be not Ooh, because you got those sword normals there that really help out. So even if you get uh, Zone of Fear out, you're still able to kind of reach that range. Kind of counter poke against Quan. Depending upon positioning there. Nice jump out. Very risky though. And it, you can't even move. One thing I did learn about the cage is that it does have 100 HP, so you can damage it and get rid of it. Like a down two will get rid of it instantly. Okay. But then I gotta he just... gets to play the mind game behind it of is he gonna whip punish that or not. Yeah, that that's very interesting. I didn't really thought about that. Like, because now you, I always kind of succumb to my vices here in that situation. It's just like, great, well I'm stuck here. This is my fault. And what are you gonna do? I, I believe you can forward jump and uh, jump back out of it as well. But again, a really big risk you're taking when you know, exactly. stand stand three vehicle exists. Ah! Oh no! You got armored up as well with that fear, but it didn't end up paying off. Already drained enough meter. Again, that one third of bar taken away from Ashra. Oh, nice. Oh, he, he read that he was going to cancel it. Go by Serena again. And he saw that that fourth one hit. He's going to do a 4 2 pick up, and his armor going to save him. No. Just a full damage. Still woke up buttons anyway. You madman. 
god. All right, Spence for the fatal blow here. Trying to catch up in the game. There's still daylight out, and he woke up buttons. <laughs> Zero. I have minutes to spare. What do you mean? A single button. It's not bedtime yet. That might be Chip. And right before the dagger came. I want to see that in a replay. Oh, shh. Here we go. So these two, when they played, it was 3-1 in favor of Scar here. So. Scar just shows up again. Oh, okay. A, a man after my own heart. We're seeing Motaro. Yes, I mean, this is going to be a great counter. We already had the four to fancy Motaro to hit the low fireball there. And opting for Chameleon on this pickup. Let's see what Joystick brings to the table here against uh -oh. Scar this time around. Moving against the projectiles. That's been awesome to watch. The teleport gets him through another one. Mm -hmm. And Motaro alone uh, shuts down everything full screen from Lou, especially yeah. uh, included. The flying kick will get reflected back. Yep, and that's so terrifying because you don't have that full screen punish opportunity to try to trade on fireballs. You're just going to have to hope that Motaro's not there too far for the punish. And that was just the stand, too. So what's going to get that forward advance that we're looking for? Back to might have been able to reach there. Still really far. Ooh. There's still gonna be some mind games on block too, as long as got a Motaro to use that teleport. It's some old school shenanigans of this gets teleported on on block. That should be enough for the kill. And something Lou, Lou has with every character. I think you talked about it before we even went live. Was this character's got damage no matter the cameo? It, exactly. Okay. Yeah, Lou Kang can hit upwards of like 380 off of uh, no cameo assist whatsoever, and that's on his uh, back two starter alone. A really quick, easy launch that we can get. Um, it's just so strong. So he can have just that safety net backup. Like, you want to go for, it, it, like with Chameleon, right? You have the safety net of, let me launch out with Katana. Or I get the aerial extension with Molina. But it's not going to get the massive boost, but I get corner carry with it. Like, there's so much versatility for Loon. Here up some 4-dash attempt there. Motaro's going to get a lick in on the champion. Oh, the fireball back. And I love how he's approaching behind it, too, with Scar using that reflect as a way to get in. He's got him bullied to the corner now. Looking for the counter poke, and he caught him with a back dash. Super flashy, but how much is cashing out for? We only saw 240 on the biggest one earlier, 333. Now I like the meaty plus frames with the Motaro shot. Super plus, plus double digits. What is that? And who? How versatile Motaro is when you think about reflect plus frames and a low. And we haven't seen the turret yet either. Yeah, that's very true. Um. Oh my goodness. And it's Which, so interesting to think about how different Lou has to play this matchup because Motaro is on the screen. Like, he can't really, like you said, shoot out any fireball game. There's a back two star that I'm talking about, right? Nice. Got the extension with Melina, but 335 for it. Like, he has to play like a neutral game to shut down Motaro before we can start going for this fireball game. Which Lou wants to be able to go back and forth from the close range to the full screen zoning. Nice break. That was absolute art on getting the hit one time in and getting offense going, but the breaker giving Scar the breathing room and now the fatal blow to really put some steam and joysticks run here. These gonna survive the double hoop from Motaro. And never mind, I'm just a liar. <laughs> you see the damage? What <laughs> one leg can do to someone? <laughs> two? Nah. Yeah, two. <laughs> Here, like Kingdom Hearts Roxas with the double leg whammy. Yeah, oh, the cybernetic warrior centaur. Are you kidding me? Yeah, with a cybernetic scorpion tail for no reason. That's because it's metal. Like, why not? <laughs> yeah, well, why not? <laughs> Those are the days when they just did stuff because why not? Like, what's the lore behind this? It, shut up. It's, yeah, shit. It's shut up. Shut up. <laughs> He's a centaur. Why is he a centaur? He's a fucking centaur. Ooh, oh my goodness. All right, so a oh, comeback mounting right now here. That was a triple side switch combo. Tanya, they're going to spin. All, all they get slammed by Motaro again. Gosh, I didn't realize it's the Tanya mirror here. Yeah, we got sidetracked by the, yeah. by <laughs> the centaur lore. lore. <laughs> and if you guys have, have the centaur lore uh, from Mortal Kombat, let, let us know in the comments section. Tell us, teach us. I know that the Shokans hate them, right? Is that right? The yeah, they're at war. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that, that the Shokan won. 
and enslave the centaurs or something like that. Oh, that's why the centaur skeleton is yep. in Shang Tsung's lab, because... Shape, mm -hmm. real shape. Oh my goodness. Lena pick up here. That's why he's so pissed he's the last one. <laughs> I'd be mad too. I'd be really upset. Oh, went for the, the read of reads. Is that huge normal? When's, uh, when's the last centaur? That's going to be the next show. Oh, I can't wait. I'd watch that. On HBO Max? Oh. Motaro, the last centaur. Start writing now, WB. We're on it. In an outworld desert, one centaur stands alone. Oh, oh man. Last Ronin, but last Ooh. centaur. Man. And we I agree. Against certain characters in this meta, it can be really strong against Sindel 2 and returning the center immediately. And why you don't see uh, you know, a lot of players that do use Motaro use uh, turret is because of in that patch, both the reflect and the shot have significantly reduced cooldown. It is crazy. Watch, reflect, oh. and then look at that Motaro. He can do it again. Welcome back. The last centaur. The flawless block. No up block, though. I think that would have been better, Sarah. It would have been quite the gamble, but that would have helped out tremendously here for Joystick. Stand here. What do you do against this mid here? Like, every single time Joystick has been block standing it. up, taking the hit, right? Like, you got to block. Like, Fine. block it or armor it. But, you know, He's not reading necessarily that. He's getting counter pokes with it, or he's catching pokes with it. So maybe for Joystick, he has to start reading those with back two, with forward four. Mm -hmm. He's in a good spot here. Oh, just to get rid of no! Yeah, what a read on the double dash there. Like, it, it's not often that someone double dashes into button, right? Like, it's guaranteeing that you're making sure that you're right in front of the opponent for a throw. And Lou can kind of go for the stagger pressure if we want, like the forward four and just back off. Maybe even just do back two a single time, check to see if the opponent's raw ducking the uh, uh, the stand three right after. Or you can just look at follow up there. But this, not quite going to kill that damage mitigation because of the Ooh. Molina assist, really I makes this combo worse for wear here. Hey, he, he was still starting to do what? some of those ninja combos yeah. right there. That was insane. And if the second side, Molina side, didn't drop, I think that he would have had maybe enough for the kill. Yeah. Either way, I'm going to give him a 9.8 out of 10 on that one. Fair enough, fair enough. Read the Makar number two, and now look at that. All this offense is getting off it. Sneaking through, though. The Scar with the uh, armor, and we see these guys getting some different takes with these characters because of Motaro alone. Just really changes the mentality for Lou, and I do like that we see the mental switch from Joystick to do that closer range pressure, like I was talking about. While Motaro's not on screen, we can sit here with Zoning, but now this changes the script entirely. Jade hits. You stepped in front of the force field. That's unfortunate. And then on the flip side, on the offense of Tanya, it's how different is she without, you know, a way to just do armor into safety, into launcher, because that's all we've ever seen from Tanya, and we see that Tanya's doing just fine in the stagger game. A flawless block again. I, I guarantee you. I want to see one of those get up block here. If we're going to see Tanya go for that teleport side swap, especially in that corner position, I, risk that up block there to see if you can get a follow up. Yeah, Scarp and really running with like zone. Area. Yeah. Nice flow right there. He is in favor for Scar, and Scar can just chill with nine seconds left on the clock and the fatal blow. Unbelievable! And I'm not doubting this one for a single moment. The one downside to all those, you know, great tools that Motaro has is that he is the Luke Chameleon. The Swiss Army Knife of Mortal Kombat 1. And I mean that in Chameleon. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Lou too. You can say that yeah. for Lou, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> He's really got it all. The safe armor break, the great strike throw. You talk about a massive cameola's damage. That kind of matters. I mean, just how different he is from 11, right? Just in his toolkit alone. Like, he's already had that strong toolkit to remove the stance that he had in 11 to kind of simplify his routing. Like, he's still just as strong as he was in 11, if not just a little more toned down because you don't have those stances. Uh, stance cancels to worry about what he did in 11. Yeah, and you have the cameo to make up for. Mm -hmm. 
what's probably missing in that. Ooh, great challenge there. A lot of people blocking there. Minus six, I think, on the fan. And went for the entire... Didn't get it, but has still used that armor perfectly. Even to give him three bars going into round two. Didn't care. Give me that round. And now doesn't have to worry about Jade. You know, even having a chameleon here in Jade, taking away the glaive because of Reflect is huge. It forces you to really only look for one kind of forward movement in, which is going to be the Katana. Yeah. Katana launcher really going to help out. And very specific scenarios for loot. The back two. Beautiful whip on it. Trying to go for safe jump right there, but it was a little too telegraphed on the jump. And I, I like that Tanya's, Tanya's a character that can, you know, really abuse those plus frames of Motaro, because I use a character that can't really back it up and jail it with a mid. From the mid-screen, so it's really cool to see that she's got the advancement to back it up. He breaks before the down two. Look at the belief right now. From Scar, was it an accidental break? I know all of Possibly. Yeah, I mean, that muscle memory just kicking in there. The eject button needed to fire off, and now you're way worse for wear. You're looking at two bar already here for Joystick. I don't see this as the, as the comeback character. You know, we, we haven't seen above really 330 damage nice in the output department. Meanwhile, Liu Kang. This here's over 300 miles. Uh, doesn't get the launcher that we're looking for for the Molina there. Nice little throw. About even on health. Resources are coming in for Scar. Nice. Right, fireballs here. Just a couple stray hits. Not quite the damage we're looking for. If we get the flawless every time. I'm telling you, Aqua. Like, we need at least one up block of that interaction. Oh, hope he's listening to zero. Yeah. Someone's going to pull it off. It just might be Joyce. Like I said, he was a showman oh, earlier. Oh. And he's, he's going for the big one here. No. Does it get the ender? But we'll get that chip out sequence. Anyways, Joystick will put on a show and send us to another sudden death. Back to back here. Out of some of the bigger routings that Liu Kang can get. Versus some of the hello. Starting off with a half screen normal there. Sudden death once more. The flames are ignited in the Coliseum. The, the players, they keep giving us these effort performances going down Whoa. to the wire. And that's the biggest read you can make in this matchup by, by clipping Motaro. Look at the extra damage. They're already halfway there. Oh, and was ready oh. for the Motaro teleport. Dropped it into, into what? Welcome to America. We got the resets. I guarantee that was supposed to be back to when Tanya was on the other side. So we only got the stand two right after it because we were already holding forward. All right, there we go. Four and massive lead here for Joystick. Ooh, good blocks. And Jade didn't get hit for that one either, so that's great. Four, four, we got the launcher. Oh, could have been a throw. That would have been a big punish. We still got the victory, though. Joystick working on a reverse 3 0 right now. Mm -hmm. Passing corner, too. Super important. There's out of reflect and throws the Jade perfectly timing when he's going to let it go, picking up on the pattern of uh, him not wanting to use the entirety of the Mortaro reflect, which you can't hold. He's got a reversal position. Plus terms are back. Stagger on the 4-4. Four, four. Nice challenge down one here. Both are so bullying in their mid pressure. And walk back. Four throw. Not going to get the full hurt there because Mortaro's already summoned. Wow, really, a down four. Got the back throw. Got the only negative frames that existed there. Going for a ballsy raw summon. There was Scar. Another one. And trying to catch a button, too. He's got the Motaro, which it looks like Joystick's respecting right now. Another one. And that's going to work the second time. And forces the breaker. Nice back four. Still so much work to do. You know that Fatal Blow is going to be the next interaction. If we get the back two start, that's going to be huge. Be very careful if we get opened up there. And yeah, even even Scar knows it. That's why we're being so cautious on this approach. We go for the, the spin to chip away the neutral jump. Final game, final round. Ooh. Another classic here reflected at the very last <laughs> second. Ooh. Yeah, after the first jump three, like that should have been a full stop there because now Scar is going to be looking for that air fireball. Because we've seen it before. You jump back with a kick into fireball. You do it once if you fail. 
and you get frustrated, right? You want to try to make sure that input comes out. You can't help but do it again. Mixups are coming so quick from Scar right now. Looks like he messed up some pressure there behind. The tower reflect doesn't get shot there. Nice. Tries to press it, some hit advantage of the down one, and Joyce is going to make him pay the price for this. Over to almost, and it's reset like again. This is a better Oki situation here to go for a great media scenario here. And he didn't have to risk any uh, armor reversal there either, so that was a safe bet to start on that one. Oh, Joystick showing off right now, going for some massive plus frames on some four fours. When he went too far forward for the Motaro to save him in the end. Uh, Wild Berry is what I went with. Classic. Let's know your favorite Pop Tart in the chat. What's your favorite Pop Tart, Aqua? Unfrosted Strawberry. Unfrosted? Okay, all right. Keep it simple. I see. Very, very simple. <laughs> Are you toasting, though? Absolutely. Okay. Are you buttering, though? Uh, I'm I'm not toasting or buttering. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've done the, uh, they used to have the uh, strawberry milkshake. I did those in the freezer uh, once before. You know, I like the I like the mentality behind that. Yeah. They I recommended it. It's never out of the package. Like the okay. Yeah. Oh, Ludi, showing no remorse there. He canceled that so early. Into the overhead of Molina and doesn't get the anti air the air flip there. It's just a jump from Gambler. He gambled with his life. Damn it. <laughs> Must have broke the phone <laughs> while we were at it too. <laughs> he sounded so angry when he said that. <laughs> like, who sent you a text? <laughs> you okay? He didn't get that gig. No, I guess not. Plus Shaker pushes away here. Another Jade, and yeah, we can zone out. It's tough, right, to go like at that full screen distance against Sindel to try to get that safety. You're giving her exactly what she wants in the, ooh, in the hands of Ludi, but nice duck here from King Gambler. Full route to carry to the corner. I'm able to make a micro duck read while she doesn't jump in and she has access to Molina. Like, that's. Fortune favoring the bolt. That's why he's got the name. Uh -huh. Gotta make the gambles. Chances to make champions out here. Nice low. Got the Goro to keep it going. But we're gonna be lingering for quite some time. That down one to take away Goro for quite some time for King Gambler. Great call from Ludi, but still able to wake up, press buttons here. Johnny Cage got plenty to dish out, even Ooh. on the zone without the cameo. Floats just long enough to still get some active frames. Saw the full delay by Gambler. Got a break. He's got Goro. He looks for that kick and what? <laughs> I, I knew it. I, I knew in my heart of hearts that Gambler was looking for that shadow kick. What I, Johnny player I wouldn't so. that life point? Yeah. With the assist of Goro, but he hit a brick wall in the name of Chameleon. That said, you shall not pass. Oh, he's still here. Oh, goodness. Wait. Come closer. All right. Both, both of them could have lost that round. That was yes. insane. Twice right there. If, if the Goro got to him in time, that was enough for the kill. It seems like the slowest kick. Like, I feel like that shouldn't have hurt at all, that down three there. <laughs> There. And Ludi just giving away some free damage here. Mm -hmm. it's, it's always Christmas in Mortal Kombat. The Ooh. gifts. Ludi finally gifted their own here. We stand here. Just an easy 400. Last opportunity, though, for Gambler if another interaction like that happens. I was about to say, careful, getting something to react to, and oh, he just, he breathed wrong. Yeah. And hit that shadow kick, but because he came up the bar, won't have Breaker, and Moody will take this 1-0, oh, and will send a message with the brutality, a snap of the fingers, the queen's fingers. Time and time again, it is why she came out the way she did in Mortal Kombat 11. It was the fear of how broken Melina is. She is back where she belongs, on top and underneath everything that you press. True nightmare scenario. Nice back throw though. Ooh, okay, gonna get punished there, but no follow up. Put the pick up there anyway. Chip there. Mm -hmm. And you notice with that when they when everyone's cameo list, they'll kind of go back to this. Uh, recharge a little bit. And okay, we got some offense going. Nice up. 
You were looking for it earlier. I, I'm always looking for up blocks, up, but that's my thing. At this point, if I'm on anyone's screen, I need to see up blocks, okay? I want to see the down to uh, launcher mechanic. That would be fun. Especially with this, with everything, you know, kind of leaning towards big damage from aerial routes, like that would make a ton of sense. If you got counter hit down too, you deserve to eat this aerial combo, in my opinion. I agree. Hey, Custom Bar does Gambler have a comeback? Get him. It's off one little whiff punish and uh, doesn't look like will be the case here today. That was going to be a mix up on block either way. Round two. Fight. Unless Gambler's got some tech. So that's something I just remember too. Down to you can meter burn to cancel for routes after on some characters, right? So. Uh, on everyone for two bars. Everyone, right? Yeah. Yep, it, it is a universal mechanic. Up, forward, and right trigger after down to you. I just don't see that. It's, it's expensive, though. It's just not worth it. <laughs> yeah, it's really expensive for that. In this economy, two bars of meter in this economy, absolutely not. It's totally right. You know what? Let's change this. <laughs> Just a single down two, no bars, please. Oh, nice. Got the stand four pick up. You know, that's actually not the worst idea. Just make it resourceless. Just make it decently execution heavy. Yeah, just counter hit down two. I feel like that's mm -hmm. a fair, like, fair call. Like, if you're going to get counter hit, I mean, that's your fault. No crushing blow, right? But come on. Yeah, something. It's scaled heavy anyway. <laughs> there you go. Oh, oh, there's a lot of dark lane on Flawless. That, was, that Flawless was important to get that down one. Nice parry. That was the most mashing I've seen in a long time. <laughs> Look, at the end of that match, it was every folk special imaginable yeah. for 10 seconds straight. They both got the dog in them tonight. That's how you got to play sometimes. You got to, you know, assert that offensive forward. You know, it's the push you forward combat something. is what it is. Yeah. That's the second I was reacting to the Jade Summon. Mm -hmm. Alright, nice little break here. No button. I thought for sure it was going to be jump kick there. So now we've been shimmied by a hair as well. Or two of Sindel will eat you up. Chameleon is on. Katana will do the float and bait on an up block. He's gonna escape build though, not enough in time to punish. Yes, your damage does have the mix now with the Melina available, and was just in so much respect of the Melina there. Made a throw. That's true. Wow. We have someone in the live audience saying that Ludi is so sick, but I'm still cheering for Gambler. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing but great, you, but uh, listen. But you gotta love it. <laughs> When the person that you're rooting against is still putting on such a good show that you're like, man, that was man, that's really good. I'm gonna give you respect. Oh, geez, but that was a nice combo there, buddy. Let's see if Ludi can no longer be denied this 2-0 lead right now in an up block. No follow through. Just went for the down one. He wasn't expecting up block to connect there. I mean, that's a free follow up there. Oh, this is troublesome. the mix too Ugh. that's a tough spot to be in even if you have the, the quickest armor wake up in the game uh in johnny cage's shadow kick still yeah. breakable by that lane of ball roll so quick on the double hit yeah, it's a it's you're watching back and forth not only your own resources but see if you can kind of block out the situation but that threat to your point the molina is that on deck or not do i have to worry about katana or jake no it's woo, what an interrupt there okay <laughs> That's what that's one way to deal with Melina. Yeah. Dash a block, nice. Must be invincible real quick. Hit. Hit deck. That's my favorite throw animation in the game, I don't know why. He just looks so dead when he throws you. Like lifeless. But it's just what's the point of going on anymore? I just got destroyed in a throw animation. <laughs> Or pick up. I feel like every every parry read has worked out for Gambler. Absolutely. But Defensive it's about department. shutting it out, though. Like, we keep getting these parries and just can't close out. Nice! Oh, in time. That pushback on Molina also can be petrifying to fight against. Yeah. Timed well in, in, there in the offense. 
There's been a couple of times where he'll throw Goro a little too late. And mm -hmm. it's given Ludi a couple times to press some buttons, that's key to the pressure of Johnny and Goro. And really a lot of teams that synergize well with Goro is timing that Goro to jail. Tanya too. Uh, Kung Lao as well. Yeah. And that's and that's what will separate good, you know, Goro usage from bad Goro usage. Is jailing versus not jailing into your plus rate. 100% correct with that one there. Yeah, it's not necessarily easy to just send it and forget it for Goro. Like, you do need to... I wish. Make sure I wish it was that easy, close. man. You know? Yeah. <laughs> If punch walk was plus, maybe. Oh my goodness. Who uses pu punch walk, right? Like, okay, I two forgot things. That was a thing. I have to say, yeah, yeah, I have to say, wait, wait, this might be over. I'll make a point about chip cameos in the end after this. 149 health is all that King Gambler has to play with, to gamble with, if he wants to stay alive in the winter side of the cult. Okay, shadow kick. Nice. Raise the roof and still has the approaching combo here. Hold it, though. To quote the great uh, Samuel Jackson, hold on to your butts. All right. I know I said we're living, but I just saw that final hit after Goro. I'm like, maybe not. We're definitely living here. We're good. Oh. <laughs> the anti air follow through? Like, that's a strong start. One to two right now for King Gambler. Ludi's still trying to run away. Oh, missed the Goro. I think it's absurd that his success rate on Tekken grows is at about 90% right now. Like, how do you know? Like, how... You, you have a coin toss on every interaction, and it's in the neutral. It's not just in the corner scenario. It's just, just you know, one more tick to the defensive stat yeah. of, the, of King Gambler, who I feel like is one of the top defensive statted guys in the Mortal Kombat community. Difficult enough. Very patient, too. Ludi, whose top stat has to be being airborne. <laughs> two, games in a, two, two games in a row. If you look at the uh, the full title of Ludi's tag, it's Ludi Flyboy. Uh, FGC. MHC FGC. Mile High Club FGC. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I've seen that one too. Come back that way that, that we've been looking for. Oh, he did that one so early. It, it was the stand one in the, into it, and then he just did it raw there. After the jump in. Fortunately had the break. 15 seconds left on the clock. We could just oh! Gambler, no! Oh no. This is beneath me. Round two. Oh yeah. I get the down two, I get it, but she's floating sky high. And, you know, to your point, the Baha High Club force Adele. Nice jump in. <laughs> She's one of the few that can that can transcend, you know, where you think the max height can be here in Mortal Kombat 1. No, she can get into the upper stratosphere. You did it, Max! With the Jade follow through? Yeah, Ludi is getting so much mileage off of just Chameleon start. Like, every single time I open you up with Chameleon. Make a touch up. Interesting choice to leave the blood on Johnny's face. You know? Yeah, I was about to say, didn't clean up really anything at all. Not a lot of time. <laughs> what are we gonna do here? Mm. Every incident projectile. While he has a bar and Goro scares me because you can give, give him something to react to. Mm -hmm. I'll give him some damage there in position. Another anti air attempt almost got smoked. Yeah. Tons of meter. And one thing to pay attention to is that King Gambler doesn't usually go for hype. It's very rare that we see uh, the hype combos coming from Gambler. But yet, up to punish there and good patience on the follow through. Another tech. Unthrowable right now. Caught an anti air trying to get Tana out. Not gonna need a lot of damage though, and this is given. Moody still. Life and the Melina that has been there for him time and time again in this set. Maybe I'm still difference maker. I'm still surprised that the Dow one we were able to get an uh, extension right after the follow through from Gambler was insane. <gasps> no way! You scooped the back three. Are you kidding me? The approach. This not quite it. 
And he did catch him on the jump board! Unbelievable uh, looting! We'll, we'll let this quant. Like, this is a fair pick, too. Like, these two can kind of contend each other at the full screen range. Both can, uh, eat just the meter burn fireball. Back full one from Liu Kang can really kind of contend a lot of the skulls. Oh, what the stand for? Yeah, don't you forget it. You guys just now tuning in. We saw his Quan some time ago when the Quan has begun. And what a forward jump read. Your best option to really punish any kind of bone cage, you know, throw from Quan is to get beyond it and we'll punish it. That's the only thing that's going to burn him with the recovery. But oh no, he's back to full screen. He's about to deal with uh, the Ooh. entire jungle gym that is Quan's arsenal, especially when he's got the purple up. Enhances the projectiles, makes him bigger, more active, more annoying, more mid. We need to burn the projectile, the aerial one that we just saw. That one's going to, you know, have a little bit of a homing effect on one of the projectiles that comes out there. Skulls from above, that psycho skull. Nice neutral jump there. That's like an MKX wake up NJP from Quan out of, out of nowhere and it like a huge up lock read, but we'll get the, the fallout. The Here's the armor. the armor. But Joystick was ready. That was some next level Round stuff. Two. Yeah. Fight. Like, didn't even hesitate. So, oh, weird. Anyways, and just kept going with Lou. Oh, really interesting route in this corner. That got extra damage off of it, too. I really like that. Because just so you can kind of see this, the exact same round of the back two, three, go for the uh, full stand three follow up into the dragon kick, the back four, four. But you get a little bit of extra damage for the 384 route there, the way that we, uh, we saw Joystick handle it. Nice jump in with the off the low. That's, that's amazing, though, with the Katana pickup. That joystick finding his way in so well. Around what Blue Runner usually puts in. A full screen prison. I guess most players try to wake Ooh. up on his own with the Serena. Mm -hmm. Eaten up by the multi hits and joystick. My favorite bioluminescent Quan outfit as well. And I'm, I'm looking uh, at Gambler playing off stream against Star. Uh, King Gambler is actually streaming it right now. It is a Goro off. It is a Johnny Cage Goro versus Kanye Goro match. <laughs> and a Gambler a hit from Gona Bueno in that one. Multiple matches going on here at the Coliseum tonight, guys. Welcome. It's one of the longest running and most awesome Mortal Kombat tournaments wow. in all the realms. Just have to worry about the purple setup there. Oh, what a block. Don't put that's a punish, though. You can do an immediate turnaround back to go for your launcher. Oh, went for the far psycho skull and it did not find the mark. I'm shocked that that projectile didn't burn his toes as well. Another oh, no. risk. Look at this, taking our time too. Like Joystick has massive lead, doesn't need to do anything. You duck all your stand for, and I gave you a hard choice. You gotta keep blocking low or you hold the Molina. Fight. Or no confirm with Serena, that would have been ideal. Skull got there in time to save him. That that katana lift has burned Woolender early in the set. Yeah. Oh. You have time to teleport. Mm -hmm. It's been about his only way in so far. Yeah. Oh no! What a jump from Woolander here to, to contend in the air to air scenario. Back in the cage you go. The bone prison. Can, can he get out? Right, Trying to avoid the loss of meter here and that's the meter burn version so you get three armor situations here for Quan. and being a little impatient but was really i think more worried about positioning than anything didn't want to give Quan some more meter by blocking yeah a lot of those things can matter when you're kind of down and out you know, what a time to put out the fear and it could have called out perfectly oh. armor though yeah Unfortunate because it's that meter burn version, so it's gonna follow Lou here and just look at those armor breakaway opportunities. You see the mind game when you're in the prison there too of is is he gonna stand forward and you crouch or is he gonna drop the skull right above your head and catch you blocking low? Or sorry, not blocking low. Oh here comes oh the slow one. Gosh, yeah. Nice jump out, but Serena able to help with this pickup here. Another cage. He got sucked nice. back into it. <laughs> he tried to get behind it. At the very least, was able to blow it away though with the air fireball. Nice. 
three, two, follow there. Melina does get blocked. Big opportunity because we're way too close to uh, Joystick here. It's a game for Blue Lender. Are we brutaling? Oh, yes. Yeah, that's true. That's true. He messed with a lot of lives. He made Kenshi blind again, too, so. What a. <laughs> what a dick. Literally says. I, I knew it was gonna happen, but I didn't want it to happen like this. Excuse me? Hey man, <laughs> so, something's gotta happen, okay? And for you, buddy, it could be worse. Sir, what did you mean by that? I uh, don't worry about it. Uh, no, I kinda am. What if that was the twist on Kenshi in this game is that he could see? <laughs> right? He was supposed to see. <laughs> but it was just wild to be lose like if you're gonna have a different you know, take on, yeah, on the character. <laughs> you're supposed to be nearsighted, actually. Like I took, you know, blindness, yeah. Like you would need glasses, but oh, it's not like this. Oh now that Woolander is on to the I feel like the approaches of yeah. Joystick, this this matchup's turned around, and now we're seeing that, that jungle gym of Quan zoning. Yeah. And you can kind of contend with some of the zoning with Liu Kang's own zoning. We haven't seen Meter Burn Fireball. Molina's there. <laughs> oh, no. There it is! Yes! Get away from me! Sucks to be you! Take the portal of fear! Oh, oh he got sucked, all right. Oh, it sucks to be here. Lou's about to pump, pump out some big boy damage. I almost over hesitated. <laughs> jumping back, almost picked up with a stand four. Gave him the slow leg, and that was a gross chip it does out. Help out quite a bit here, Jade. Though, like I don't, you do get that forward approach, but the way that Woolander is playing, like that full screen keep away. Ooh, up block. Let's get the punish. Four staggers, nice chase to down one, but we're gonna get grabbed. Such a risk on that down reason of the tentacle. Mm -hmm. Caught him jumping. And we'll walk up with his chest held high with the backing of the zone of fear, man. That was a bulletproof vest of Quan coming in. <laughs> Set it up again. And he's dying from chip alone right now off these sequences. Ways to drop away some of this meter here. 50% lead though. About even on health. I mean, Liu Kang can close it out, but Serena's start is not a good look. Oh, more waste. No meter here at all for a joystick. And that removes the, the key component to try to challenge against Quan here in the full screen scenario. You don't have any meter to go for fireball. You do allow Quan to get armored up the longer you're in the zone of waste. Wait a second, Zero. We actually have Quan Chi IRL in our chat right now. And oh then Slayer. Slayer? Whoa. We summoned him. Wule summoned him. I mean, Wulander. Wule. I'm getting. Is there? Wooly? Wooly under? I'm... Sure. I'm getting mixed. So much joystick right now. In the bone prison. Again. Yeah, all the waste, giving Quan armor. As long as you can keep cycling waste, and this meter version, it's so helpful because you're basically recovering a third of that bar that you spent to set it up anyways. You have armor to back it up. Like, there's no reason to not set this up safely. Should have been round off of that. Ooh, low tentacle. Should get it off the katana here. Definitely not your turn. Sneakily, that, that katana lift also on the break mm -hmm. for, for any kind of reversal dash. Zones out, and I love that aggression on the forward dashes when he's seen those zones as well. Yeah, tries to get away from it here to not give any armor opportunity, but another tentacle grab. Nice full route to pick up there. That's an expensive thing he's got in the arsenal. Two bars to have a low launcher. Yeah. Four stagger. Four blocks here. Oh, the quick down. It's the down three. It's so quick, right? The, the skeleton pops out. 
Oh, there's a mix-up. That's just those cameo v cameo, and it's chameleon just coming out on top. Joystick sets up the safe jump. Caught him pressing buttons afterwards, and this will be in a round. Joystick has already had one of these. Coliseum, that means it's a sudden death, baby. I get him. Burn it up in here. Whew. Is it getting hot? Just whoop. We're getting thinking. into the summer uh, summer weather here a little early. We might just we might have to start taking some layers off while the players start putting the layers on, if you know what I mean. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice call out. The immediate dash up. We're starting to call out the fact that Joystick will dash for against Zone of Waste here to avoid the meter drain. Trying to drain it out. Yeah, Jade's not going to help you out here. You're still giving away armor opportunity to Quan. Took it to send you back to full screen, put you in the prison again, caught you pressing buttons. And the stand for an ultimate shutdown move. And look, he teleported himself into the armor. I dare you to try to punish me, says Quan. And that is, that, 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 there it is. That's what we call the Quaning. It has begun. Fight. Okay, four, four. That is unfortunate there. That skeleton just falls short compared to other down threes. Down four is certainly much nicer for Quan, but down three, it just falls short. Like, it's. I almost want to say it's about as risk, but down one. One of a set up here, I just lied. Could have teleported behind that, played the mind game again. Instead, just jumps into the space. Yes. Portal still following means that he's still playing the guessing game, and one more 50 50 at the end. Of course, break the joystick. I think it was just critical to remove that breaker opportunity in case if Willender did get that opening. And still was able to chip away at Joystick. Now we're about even. Oh, not quite getting the armor. There it is, though. So no follow up. We just have to take the regular throw. We didn't even have Katana available either. This is my favorite counter of Joysticks on that zone has been the four throws, or just the throws in general, to take the time off of them. There you see, barely having some time afterwards. Mm -hmm. That strength does get a flawless block, but still has some pushback on it. Even in post. Went for a read on the four dashes, which have been huge from Joystick. Caught a four dash in the grab this time. Answered in kind. He's got no meter now, so if he waits out that zone, there she is. Now he's free to move about the cabin. Ooh, Here goes oh. through the upscale. They're going to put a shot on that. The swing from Blue is going to take this. Three to two. I, before that last match started, I looked over, and King Gambler was up 2-0 on Scar. And I just looked back, and it's 2-2 final round between Scar and King Gambler. My goodness. There we go. Perfect. Thank you, Rick. Oh, perfect. Yeah, the only one to uh, give a loss to King Gambler throughout the latter series was uh, Polo Boy Kel. Uh, and obviously, Ludi putting uh, Gambler down in the losers on the top eight run here. And we are down to the wire. This is again 2 2 final round in loser's side. Last chance for someone calls out the throw, even when it was the last thing probably imaginable in offense from that man Scar. The la the thing that we those guys are lucky I didn't enter. I'll tell you that. What's up again, folks? Just wanted to let you know how you can support us here at the Coliseum, and you can support us just by watching, becoming a member, purchasing some merch of ours, and more that you can check out in the description below. I won't keep you any longer, and let's get back to the Mortal Kombat. Trying to run somebody over, and I forgot it was it was referring to some sort of mechanic that they. Had had a deal like a like a rushdown effect happening because of the monster truck was ever looming. <laughs> well, you never know what kind of references you're gonna get here. That's for sure. Uh -huh. I'm here for it. That's for sure. I'm, I'm also here. But the Quan Man is beautiful use of the glow though, right into an anti air as if he was ready for it. Yeah, no kidding. All right, just to float out, yo, that cage is much too tall. I see y'all say just jump, simply jump out. And Sindel cannot even float out. I immediately responded to that in the chat too, Zero. Someone said <laughs> you could just jump the bone cage. Meanwhile, stand three uncle exists, which is one of the best anti-airs I've seen, especially from a distance. Stand one exists, stand one two, which is gonna anti-air from half screen. He can stand four, which is gonna anti-air anywhere on the screen as well. Like this character's got butt, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. It's all according to plan. You get caught in that cage, it's it's even worse for you. Oh, what a breaker. Even there, was looking for the anti-air on the two aspect of that Ooh. string, just in case. Okay. Did you fall out? Yes. Armor. Yep. 
very quick eject from Ludi. Like, Ludi certainly wanted more, but it's better to kind of pull back and wait for that armor to reset. Oh, no. You can just jump it, though. Simply, simply jump, Aqua. Just jump away. That's not, I was even thinking of, though. Just active frames of Serena. But it's okay. Even even in getting hit, it got him in. Mm -hmm. If that makes Thanks sense. Oh, what a duck, though. Yeah, Katana really helping out in the extra aerial superiority that Sindel represents in this match here. See how this shakes out here for the final round of the first game of winners finals. Jade to lock it down. So, oh my goodness! He's That's so a little start. He does have a bar. It's so demoralizing to have to deal with that orange portal, right? The zone of waste draining away, and when Quan spends a meter on it, it lingers forever. And you feel kind of helpless because Quan then has that armor. You really can't get anything going. You have to get a quick, simple, hard-hitting normal in. Either you're down to just get a sweet knockdown, let the meter just kind of run down in a way, but you can't commit to that corner carry you're used to. You have to just keep things short and simple. Nice up block. I love it. Beautiful. Well done. Excellent defense. Woolender, if you went off of this, it was well-deserved. You earned it. 100% and if he is in kill territory, puts him in the cage. Fatal Blow is near full screen with his character back to oh! the float. He's gonna float. The tentacles they don't reach. Everyone's dream has been crushed. Gonna get some chip with Serena. I think he was looking for Glaive with that jump. Ate a lot of chip there. Two in the second Glaive. I mean, trying to make a very hard read with that fatal blow. I don't blame you for that forward approach on float, but I'm not even sure, even if we would have dropped out for the float and jump uh, jump kick, I'm not sure that would have uh, actually connected to make a read of an instant air projectile because guess what Quan has at that same uh, distance? Instant air skull. True, true. So many options and oh, oh no. <laughs> like I said, pick a button and it's gonna anti-air. Another Kraken, man. Like literally a whole house of horrors available here for Wu Under. GG, <laughs> yo. I love it. I just love it. The stand for able to hit them, and it just comes off screen like there's a foot. Where is this coming from? It's rush hour all over again. Who kicked me? Which one of y'all kicked me? One of the biggest homages to his MKX variation system uh, moves as well. What a cash out for 417. Woo. And good luck trying to block forever in the corner against Sindel. She's still going to get another float here. Nice interrupt. And Quan not known for his wake up game. That can be shattered <laughs> by the 4 2 of Sindel's as well. Floating outside of the uh, stand 4 range. He's going to catch Quan in some recovery. Beautiful ender. There by Ludi. Up the game, up the round. Is this his tournament to win? Is he finally going to do it? I mean, Ludi has been working hard across multiple brackets. I don't think Ludi takes a day off, honestly, He's, for I was going to say the same thing. I don't know if he doesn't <laughs> compete in every tournament that exists for the game. And as a, as a wise man once said, hard work pays off. Certainly does. Was it... Uh... Not everyone who works hard is rewarded, but everyone who wins has worked hard. Certainly Luda. Ludi, excuse me. Very showing that testament here. It does have the lush shaker to push away. Getting the gap, and I don't know why he I guess he chose to stay outside of the wake up range of Melito. Was unsure how to contest it without meter and maybe could try to snipe it with Serena. Gets a micro duck there. And this might be enough for the kill in the fatal. Certainly. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Got the concern. Certainly. On some of his routes, I forget how far he can go, so I thought it was going to end immediately there into Fatal. Mm. 
don't know about the, the practicality of that, you know, the teleport. I feel like Quan would be crushed. I mean, that's a pretty strong upward punch to uh, break someone's spine like that. Sindel, maybe. But you do that to Xiao, you're dying. Oh, for sure. Hello! There's one of the previous late pickups you'll see. Goodness, 313 for that? Okay. Show off and say, Whoa, 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 whoa. Get back in your cage. For a four-lot, it is an enhanced zoning. Those are mids. Yes. Charging out off the table. Oh. <laughs> and it looks like that's one of the changes that everyone is going to bring here in game number two. Purple yes. portal more. Psycho Skull, just the regular one. Right at the, uh, at the end of the portal, too, because that would have been the... Uh, enhanced version. Unfortunately, just ended there, so you got the regular. Whoa! <laughs> That's the way to anti air. And did not care a single bit about that wake up behind the armor and is gonna dance on the face. Because it was all booty momentum wise until the end. Yeah, uh, I was really surprised at how quick we were able to get that anti. I thought for sure that the katana would have been able to carry over without the uh, uh, you know, connection there. You, you just side swap. Stand. Follow through here once again from Ludi to own this corner. With the float, yes, called it out. We tried to go for anti air attempt, but it's so risky there. You know, there, it's not going to be a very long time that you find Sindel floating right above you. Nice up lock. I got the mighty unjust in the live chat saying, uh, We have changed his name to Woody. Can we change it on the bracket? Okay, I need a confirmation from him, but is it... Why a W? Is it because he's winning? Because let's go! Right, there we go. <gasps> Unbelievable! That's the second time that he's done a, a, a footsie tentacle. Hmm. That has worked out, but won't save him. And this one didn't commit. Wait, where did the back Serena go? Because there was at least the one that came through. Now we still got another cage set up. There's no escape. There's a stand four. I didn't even see that stand four on the screen. Yeah, it, it, it blended in with the background. Again, people saying full screen that you can jump the cage. Stand four exists, right? Yeah, stand four. Like you said, just pick a button. It's likely going to keep you locked into the cage. Yeah, so cage. And then if you jump, it's stand four in the cage. Try, try again. Cage. Well, you got out. See there, that one, that one worked. It worked, Aqua. Man, this is a cage meta. We, we got Quan with this cage. We got Janet cage. Let's see, we did that. Let's see. Oh no, oh, Portal of Fear and Portal Sindel of Power. I had no idea what to do with inside of that. Yeah. I couldn't tell if that was if that was the zone or if it was the the current state of the game with the last patch. <laughs> Let's call it what it is. Oh no, no up block there. Just kind of. Recovered a little bit too early. Was at least able to stand block after still. Stand. Break. We're running out of room and fast. Maybe caged up, but Jade Blade is able to keep you locked in, but for so long because Woolander's still able to challenge right after. Caged up one more time. No. Every escape. single movement out of that cage has been shut down. At this rate, do you just stay in it? And I'm almost expecting to make a read there. If he didn't do the back dash, stand three range. Oh, no. Tried it again. Yep. We're getting close, though. We're, the gears are turning for Wool under here. Oh, he tried to call it the jump right there. Oh, no. Oops. Big block. Been a punish, yeah. It's as if he recognized that he wasn't going to punish it, though, and mistimed it. And right? He didn't go for the one, too. Opted for the hit advantage of the stand four. It's such a smart reset. Going to run out of zone, though. Lose chance. They expected the katana to carry over all the way. I like that we kind of went for a full stop with the uh, the float from Sindel there, even after the katana lift. But 2 1 lead is Woolender here. As you can see in this match alone, you get caged up. You're still going to get pushed out with Zone of Fear potentially with Shut Down Float. And we're whittling away with light hits, especially with that Stand 4 interaction. But it adds up drastically over time. We do have Sub-Zero on deck, so likely a ton of armor coming from Ludi to try to avoid a lot of this scenario, to negate 
the zoning gameplay that Quan represents here. Yes, indeed. I was telling you before we went live that uh, Quan Enzo won my local yesterday with Quan Shi, not even dropping a single game. None of us were ready for the madness, and I saw that I saw that zone, the the pushback on it, and the the suck aspect of it changed so many matchups. Where I was telling you, I saw three torpedoes from <laughs> Peacemaker get stopped in its tracks and get punished. Like it, he he couldn't move at all. It was insane. So like these little things that are gonna develop over time are gonna be game changing. And this is round changing for Ludi. This is gonna set up some big damage. It's gonna snap yeah. some more. Some zero no. Pressure is just gonna continue. Okay, good low block right there. That was there. Oh, you can finish this here. Oh, actually got the breaker, missed that. Oh my god, no you don't! No you don't! No! No! Quanchi is one of the blessed ones. The fatal blow reaction. The easiest thing to do. Sit there. And you got both of your fingers just slightly hovering over the triggers, right, Zero? Looking for anything, any frame to go wrong, and then boom! Gotcha. What you, who do you think you are? What do you? What do you? What is this Call of Duty to you? You just ADS pull the trigger? What? That was a quick scope. Big pokes of his own. Mm -hmm push away but there's sub-zero we do have the zone of fear once again serena does absolutely nothing nice look at the damage she does 400 for that there's no cameo assist awkward they took this away from me man this was like a 15 second health bar by Ludi, by the way it's just a nice setup yeah. And what did it take from you, Zero? It, it took away that 400 damage. Like, why can't I do damage like that anymore? Pick up Janet Cage. Do, you know what? Do, yeah. Do something back cameo, back cameo, something back cameo, back cameo. You'll do 400 or 500 damage like the rest of us, okay? Okay. All right. I'll, I'll do that again, you know. I'm sprayed in players. Really got hurt. Y'all didn't want to block. All right. Anyway. You, you have a block infinite, okay? I don't, I don't want to talk. Wanna... <laughs> no, 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 uh-uh, I'm not letting him get, get away with that one, guys. Hell no. Where was that earlier? Oh, nice block. This is the full punish that we've been looking for here. There we go. 344. Or Stagger does get the... Yeah, the whole toss. Oh, we're going to sudden death. It's a long line between these two. They got a lot to say. Sino doesn't hold back. She is a scream queen for a reason. I see, I see. She's got a lot to say. But Quan says, on hand me! I'm gonna stand for it. He'll give you the stanky boot at any He range. would absolutely say, so unhand me! Un unhand me! That would be the most Quan Chi way to. What? Uh, I don't. Where'd her hair go? Catch the lick. Locked up. Full screen situation. And again, the stand for just a chip away. I don't need to send fireballs towards you with that shield up. I can still press buttons. I like how Ludi's been just down two-wing through that. Reset the situation. Yes. Right. Out of a lot of punishes. I think that's very critical. Like I was saying earlier, you got to keep it short and simple. Take as much damage as you can while you can before that armor applies there. But you can kind of time it with the meter that does get pulled out. Nice throw on the up block. Everything about that was sensational. The micro duck under the, to save himself to put on the armor under the stand forward and puts himself one hit away now. The chip on the projectile and the walk forward, the menacing walk down from Moolender. Now puts him fatal blow can kill. Don't give him something to react to. He walked out of range of it. Seconds remain now. Five. Went for a jump, and that will be the bane of his existence in round one. Ludi on round point. That to was become crazy. Woody, the winner in winner's finals. Side. That one, that would be crazy to see Ludi advance to this grand final position here, but also 
the fact that we were we had the audacity to go for air fireball with no sub zero on deck to help you out. The stand four caged up one more time. Don't you dare jump out of my prison. Zones back up, makes three with a neutral jump. Puts him down on the ground. Gray block on the low. Mix up skull lore with the armor out. They hit away. Don't give him something to react to. Throw sky drop, it's stand four being the option. Closes the gap two to start this final round. He's got full Serena. A bar for a zone. That zone looked like it was a little broken. Wait a second. That's uh, the way. It was, little, it was, it was a, a delay prone. summit of the zone right there. You, you got a little early buff. Are you kidding me? All right. There we go. Try to set up the cage one more time. And delayed it too. Nice air combo to get the ground bounce in full screen scenario. This is tough here for Ludi, but we've got the armor finally. Guns get the approach. Great recognition. With armor up, you can ignore the Serena. Double pizza deal. You can send it back. I didn't order this. He's to throw East of his worries right now. Took nice the biggest spot. risk of the set. Freeze for the reset here. Got the quick recovery on Sub Zero. He's Great gonna get here from Ludi. He's gonna get breaker and throw range, and this is where the game changes. And it looked like he read throw. All right, so this is the scenario that we were in in the last round. Full screen, full health. Finals, we're in top four territory. Loser out of here, winner. <clears throat> it's the challenge of oh, Zoolander. The loser's finals, we begin. Right back into it with the Kung Lao on Liu Kang here, which is always great to kind of keep that locked down against Johnny, but already King Gambler, who's been so stoic on defense, been able to tech out every single throw, but we got the Dragon Kick carry. Nice, sweet. Great patience there from Joystick. Ooh. Really with punished, and I think he was going to see if he was waiting for the hat to pick up. Wasn't there for him. We got some great corner carry here. Didn't want to check the wake up. Wake up that one into the dash. Let's get out of the corner by any means necessary. And again, just on the opposite side of the coin, Joystick being just as patient as King Gambler can be. Has to respect the Goro. No challenge there. Oh, what a parry. I can do this all day. Another notch in that defensive column, man. But, I'm, you know, I'm going to take it away for the wake up down one. He, he's even. What a read. And he gets the offense right here. And that's started. Oh, Goro. No. And that's one of my favorite things that Joystick does. And I only see a few lose do it where when they are in neutral from a three-quarter screen, they feel like that's one of their best options to check people. It's just an instant EX dragon kick, and it catches so many people walking more than anything. Yeah, that's fair. A little bit better recovery, if I remember correctly. That, well, certainly better recovery than the regular version anyway, so you're not as vulnerable. And it was something that we weren't able to see earlier because of the Motaro threats. Yeah. Yeah, you can kind of go more free form with a lot of the zoning uh, possibilities here from Lou. Nice. Very rare there to see that string. Ooh, but the rising uppercut here from King Gambler. Uh, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, that okay. does near 100 damage in chip. I want you to think about that for a moment. I want you to just, like, imagine your opponents at 100 HP and you just do something that and you just shake their hand. Just, just think about it. That's okay, all I'm asking. But, but I mean, y'all got upset with Storm Cell, though. Are you gonna? I know. Okay. Just, all right. I know, but I think that people just don't know. Okay. That, I mean, the, more often than not, it is a lack of understanding without going into the lab and exploring these things, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you, Foxy Grandpa. That man, oh, left, that man left Shokan stance in MK11 and it showed up and look what happened. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's happening here, Joystick? The Elder Still showing that. Even though it doesn't have Lau or Motaro, the throw can be a threat. Yes, absolutely. Just showing that versatility that Liu Kang has across the cameo cast. Or poor, and both players really respecting that neutral option here. Like right in front of each other, they know that the pressure is mounting either way. Nice course correct with the back four four. It'll bring you back down to earth. You don't have to drop the combo out. Oh, and that's when he's feeling himself right there, going for the four fours, the plus frames, and now he's just freestyling. 
the mix-ups, but he's gonna pay the price for getting a little too loose with the buttons, I think. Yeah. Tough. Ah, the B and delay wake up does help out. I'm scared for him. Oh, and yeah. the button. Oh, no. Ah. Hard to contest the nine frame active mid right there. Final round. Yeah, they're they're the heat the of the moment. Yeah. Good low. Double block, rather. 4 4 doesn't open up the way that we're looking for here. Not able to get those confirms that we're trying to find. Um, and it's kind of tough to just force correct, anyways, if you're going for the quick chat to make sure the opponent's blocking still. And Joystick needs to be careful doing these 4-4s uh, four on Gamma. I'm assuming that there's a flawless blockable gap right there. And that was a sweet whiff on his Dragon King. Because that was something that he was known for, even going back to MK11, was the flawless blocks on gaps, on jump-ins. I think that's maybe why we're not seeing um, Joystick really commit to the, the final hit of it. It's 4-4-3. Four, four, uh, and then the second one, you have to flawless block to stay close to it. It was very much like that in uh, 11, where in order mm -hmm. to take a turn back, you had to get the flawless block. Jake played the follow through. There's no shadow kick. That's why we go for the jump three. As keep blocking low against Liu Kang, it's the, the frame traps that makes it all the more terrifying. He's only got the one overhead that you have to worry about, but it's a very you know, telling kind of overhead. Do you know how good it feels to just be able to, to do something in a break armor and they just can't stop you from doing it? It does you feel just, pretty good. I was just, doing that earlier just, today. You just actually. do it and you're like, you can't stop me, my man. Wait, no, the only one that has really access to it as a mid. Yeah. In this timeline, he, he said, only I'm having that one. Okay, it's just, I've been cursed, I've been zombified, I've been murdered. It's my time to rise. He's been stabbed in the back, he's been stabbed in the front. Come on. This is my timeline, not Evil Raiden's timeline. We tried that one awful close. Maybe we're trying to cover the jump out of the corner. With that flow, just and I met him early, tried to anti that. Joysticks loves being tested in his reactions and in his pacing game. Yeah. Having that availability, like, it, what better character to do it with than Luke Kang, right? Because you get so much reward for really trying to uh, steal back those turns to play that neutral game outside the zone where Johnny wants to be comfortable, but that quick elbow starter. Punch down. Ooh. Yo, you tried to armor and you got out of dodge from Katana. That was very scary. Can we get this show? Well, Gamer's able to close that out. Joystick. Got it got out of dodge. Almost a jail free card. Gets himself some space here. Dancing on us. Space is gonna run out very quickly. The down four does get flawless. Is the roof? I think it might have been just outside of Liu Kang right there. Could have been a challenge. Joystick frozen now defensively. Letting Gambler just press on him. Throw him to Oblivion. He's in the corner now. Another oh, one. Oh, no. Goro is beating him senseless. It's not a good oh, one. Not no, 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 no. Yo. Goro again. Oh, he got mixed. The problem, the fear of the throw, have been building up throughout this entire corner sequence. Good block, but Goro's still there. That's sweet. That's the first button that Joystick has pressed in what maybe down one in some of these interactions. Jump back, fireball. No shadow kick, just ducks under the air fireball. pick up here. Ooh. Oh, some safety there. Mm -hmm. Nice wake up backdash by Gamba. That's a great way to catch some with punishes. Get some of the throw. We've, we've seen this animation before. Oh. Uh, Goro just beats the crap out of you in that one. Catch the whip punish. Didn't leave it though. Um, I think there's a whip punish, or sorry, a missed input on a dragon kick maybe. That's something we haven't seen a lot from either of these players. There's been a lot of proximity OSs in their normals where we just see right. a, a, one normal and there's some specials out here in the stray. Oh, 
the respect. That's flawless, though. Not going to get a whole lot off of it except save you some chip damage. And that's why we see that full delay from Kick Gambler wants to reset the flawless block scenario so that we can start chipping away again. Whoa. Yeah, definitely break. That would have been death. And how risky was the throw in the end? Think this is a game show? Gambler, the unthrowable. Fight. In most situations, he's against his opponents with yeah. no fear whatsoever. It's a Molina. That was Joystick's best friend earlier. Not tremendously. Oh, opened up at the wrong time. I can't imagine what that was going to be. There was no counter hit there. He's about to duck, expecting a throw. And we were just in the other corner. We sure? We sure were. Got a big raid from Destroyer as well. Thank you so much. That's one of my goats right there. Thank you, Destroyer. See you. Destroyer. Oh no, stop jumping! You press! You stay the press! You have a glaive. You're in safe. Sometimes, Zero, when you just hold up, it can be the best thing because the second hit of a string whiffs and you get a punish and you're just, you're just rewarded for the ass play. I'm gonna say it. You know, sometimes mistakes can be turned into happy accidents. That's that's what we all learn from Bob Ross. You make a bad decision, you turn it into a good one. I actually saw uh, a quote from the FGC recently that was talking about the difference in communities overseas and here in America, where when someone drops a combo and then <laughs> like picks picks up the next sequence or you know gets another damaging sequence that they apologize to their opponent but here in america we're like not get fucked oh i, I i'm of the apology camp i say i'm sorry if, it, if it's something silly and i got rewarded for it i'm sorry bro oh no i'm i'm gonna look at you like i just embarrassed the life force out of you like you just got your soul sucked you know what i mean uh, yeah i i get it i'm embarrassed that i dropped it usually <laughs> like that's what i'm just i'm so sorry like that's you were dead. That's why you weren't blocking. I get it. Oh, it's last hit for Gambler. It's oh. taken, but he eats a fireball. Social block. Oh my goodness, the sudden death. I was so locked into what Liu Kang was going to say. And I was sudden too. death freaked me out. <laughs> it kind of scared me a little bit. <laughs> Social sudden death. I'm like, okay, all right, Lou, my bad. Coming through the two, two. Oh no, Stagger opens up for King Gambler. Big start here. And these two did meet earlier, and Joystick took it three to one, so looking for some vengeance here. Mm -hmm. Gambler. Lighten in the thick of it. Thought it was going to be a Stagger, and he gets raised to the highest roof. That you can't hear an Earth Realm. It's, he, it's the top of the mansion, and he's going to stretch the leg. It's match point again for Gambler. You got the flawless and still got hit low. Right, nothing changes here. Still locked in the corner position. Could block up fireball. He's gonna hit the deck. Man, takes you for a ride. Try some disrespect. Gambler shuts it down with the trade. This oh no! On his own. Goro to extend the issue here, even after the uppercut. Even if I miss, Goro's got my back. Nice interrupt, pushing out of the corner with the EX Dragon. Good block in the overhead. A lot of people fall for that one, but falls for the yeah. sneaky low on the second mix-up. Joystick getting jiggy with it. Gets interrupted on the Jade, though. And that's going to cost him dearly, Gambler. As long as that connects, we'll end his run here tonight. King Gambler <laughs> will take it three to two. That's crazy. It went to all, and Gambler just suddenly locked in for the sudden death scenario. Gonna come yeah, out of this matches, so I appreciate it. Okay, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we appreciate you also supporting us as well. See some of those rains come through. So check them out, guys. Tampa never sleeps doing amazing stuff for the FGC, and it's actually the crew that you're a part of, and Coliseum's Tento, a part of the a part of yes. the TNS crew. Tento, one of the latest pickups. He's for, Hollywood uh, now, man. He left us. What He's the fuck? everywhere. Tento on Procom, on TNS. He's all over the place now. Man. 
We got the install here for enhanced fireball play. Yeah, this is like we were talking about trying to close the gap against Quan. A little bit trickier than it, uh, you would imagine. Let's push back there. Oh, not quite low enough for the jump kick. Yeah, I've just been getting real bold with some of those jump kick reads, though. but the early ones have been burning them. Yeah. At the end of some of these rounds. One of those things you gotta take into consideration when you jump. The swinging from Moolander. Of course, I'm off a lot of meter here. Oh, it's returned. That avoids the down three here from Quan. Oh, but the stamp four. Just a little teleport, just the easy uh, orange portal there. Just a small one, no meter spend. Just for just a little bit. Said, oh yeah, easy spend to the bar there to give him some breathing room. Mm -hmm. it, it, it was the same four. Goodness. All right, so we got the armor through. Should... No, oh! didn't finish it. That was supposed to be the stand one finish. We got it there though. Well, if you're already combo, whoa, nice tipo, Serena. All right, anyway, if you're trying to make that, uh, if you're already caught mid combo, Quan is still building up that armor, so you have to end it early. That's why you keep like the quick one two into down two, and just get as much damage as you can. In this scenario, though, like you said, quick succession routing here to erase the armor, make your route effective here. First purple portal, we seem to go up. Nice. Did not step forward at all. That <laughs> one. Trying to catch him with the uh, determined claw, the one two. Instead, he's going to get put in jail of his own. I'm calling an eagle strike on this one. Oh, nothing? Not even going to try to throw? Okay. 50% increased cooldown, man. Not worth it. Not worth it yet. Not worth yeah. it. Instant portal. Stand get four. Eight. Oh, my God. Is this going to be worth the double Serena? Does get 400 big boy damage? Yeah, and a full screen to play with. And look at how much bar you got for it there. You're just a third into your second one. Took it away from Johnny even. 50% life lead. You're looking good. Oh, no. The flawless no up block there at all again. Like, it is so scary. Like, I say simply up block, but at the same time, it's very scary to try to put that out there if... Gambler decides to make an empty jump, you're in trouble. And you have to represent it as a defensive option, but there's even like those overhead scenarios where like, yeah, I could up block, but what if Gambler does it this time? Oh, the first throw doesn't go Texas because he had so much respect yeah. for the armor. Yeah. Nice. Oh, oh, checking the toes and he caught one finally. Ooh. That down four was the final one. Maybe some wood. Try to catch a really aggressive four jump read. Stand three equal. Cages up. It'd be a great change for Cage. No and still combos. Shot. Oh That's my. That's disgusting. That's what I was talking about earlier. I was like, wait a minute. Like, you got caught yeah. by Jake Lave. You got hit by nothing. Like, what happened here? Bewildering. <laughs> yeah, literally bewildering. Help. Just, uh, you know, take the sunglasses off. Maybe that's why you didn't see it. Mm, good point. That was a sexy whip punish. And that boy cash out. He shot this one into 398 in the screen. Close to it. I realized that was double, and I meant it in favor of Johnny to take the sunglasses off, and then suddenly it clicked. I was like, wait, no, I didn't think... Oh, that sucks. Yeah. The double hit when it mattered most. Right on the armor. Stagger one more time. Uh, yeah, but that's the fear right there. If you try to duck under Serena, the dive kick could come through. You're still stuck in the orange portal, the zone of waste here to drain out meter for you. Stagger pressure, get the down one. Oh, there's oh. the up block punish. The perfect scenario for that one because you had the corner dominance. <laughs> no, back three. <laughs> there will be no <laughs> that, that was just absolute sorcery. That's only fear. Right, block 
popped in another one for you here. He was misplacing a lot of those cages earlier, but he's finally catching on to the movement, the gambler. Mm -hmm. Very tough to keep Johnny locked down. The way that gambler wave dashes in this game is insane. He moves. There it is again! Okay, so we'll go for uplock scenarios when you have your opponent caught in a corner position. Interesting. Wow, that was a very low pickup. Oh, it's like max extension possible. Yeah. And he says, I'm out! Stop! And no. <laughs> Come back to me. That's damn Armor saves him there, too. Yeah. Armored up one more time. Waste is gone here. That entire sequence looks scripted. Yeah. Cool. Very scary. Just kept an up block lingering there. Nice. Waste for the Jade Glaive to come through. Corner carry into this fatal blow. Be looking pretty even going into the last one. He's mm -hmm. going to give Woodlander close to a second bar of meter to play with. And the more that I'm looking at him and the more I'm looking at how Quans are approaching the current meta is that just every bar is an EX portal that's going to be fun. Yeah. That's always on portal setups here. And you have to have that. If you're going to do Zone of Fear, it costs one bar. Like, you can't do Zone of Fear without it because it shares the same input as uh, Zone of Power. And there, some Quans, I feel like, would put, put it out right there. Yeah. And, and, and then maybe try to chip away at Johnny. And that's just one of the differences nice to see in Woolander. Which is some of the others. Yeah, because it'd be really interesting to see the uh, Zone of Waste show up there to drain while the opponent's locked in. You get a refund on that resource if you do the meter burn version. Because look at this, you're already looking at about 25% coming back here. And you have your second bar back. Alright. Last chance for both players here. Down one. Nice throw. Oh, simple. Yeah. How can he stop the chip right now? All right, can approach. You have to stay in position. Now one more zone of fear. <laughs> Just because Man. you shoot it straight down, you get the green glow that turns into purple, and you're right. Like it does share that same look as zone of fear. But you only had the one bar left for zone of fear there. You had to make something happen. While you got the opponent locked in the cage, why not try to force him to block? Gambler already got that corner carry, and this is going to be a bad scenario here for Blue Lander. And yeah, I'm starting to believe that even on these safe jumps, as long as Gambler isn't crossing up, you're not going for up blocks. Oh. one either there, and he's going to fall apart in this corner. I am. And this is a it's a great nope. battle of 950s that we see here. Round Low health oh, pool, yeah. high octane characters. And it's definitely set us been so far high octane. And I'm not even going to question it at this point, Zero. We're going to a game five. It's, it, it, it's, it's been scripted, you know, 16 times already in this top eight. What's one more? Yeah, what's, what's one more? This thing's this thing's rigged anyway. Oh my goodness. Media break, full screen scenario here. Trying to take the life lead. Certainly is keeping up with it. Locked into the cage, which is run up for a throw. That's the first time all night. Cage has been caged. Low, yep. Back and he goes. Oh. For a snipe of the head again. Game goes ready for it this time. Caught the startup of a poke and it's leaving him standing, so the wake of options not gonna be there. There only needs a touch. But this is where the blender begins. Nice block on the teleport. That's it. That's it. I'm not even doubting it. You're We're going to. We, we are going to a game five. I'm absolutely. For once in my life, I'm not going to doubt this. Okay. Are you sure? No! I'm, I'm out. Time me out. There's still, there's still another, still another round. Redemption round. Redemption. Redemption. I bet my life on that, man.
I know you did. And I, I'm, I'm really impressed. That, that's that's courage. Well, I'm in losers. I mean, you know, not, there would be lesser individuals that would not have made that bet. And you know what? We're proud of you for doing it. Sometimes you got it, guys. Gambler. <gasps> Big drop. Gambler's got to be it. Pull another miracle out of his pocket. He doesn't. Players are going the distance, and we can't thank them enough. With a spot in the finale on the line, the winner in the sudden death gonna have a shot. It'll be between them and Ludi. Not only will they get a finale spot here, zero, but I'm going to personally send them a prize package that includes a Coliseum pin. They're also going to have a shot at the top four in the finale. They're gonna be getting some trophies that'll be showing off after this match. Yes. And. Three printed mask, right? So. And everyone that makes the finale will also get the option to speak with an NASM certified physical trainer for any of their health and physical goals that they may have in life. I tell you one thing that Gamma doesn't need to work on in his reactions because he just anti aired a jumping back Quan with a shadow kick from three quarter screen, and the offense is getting a little crazy right now from him. What is with Gambler locking in at the game five scenario? Down two to finish it. <laughs> Giving us the classic toasty end. There's one way to take enough damage before the armor can even matter, right? Absolutely. Just set it home, keep it simple there. Nice break immediately. That would have mean, meant a great position there for King Gambler after the uppercut. So now sends it away. We do take this meter away here with the wrath, the waste. Wasting away all that meter. Like the string, nice call out of the dash. Looks like he reacted to it. Oh, what a shout. I don't know if that was a reaction or not. <laughs> I think he just did it. Sometimes you gotta see. Yeah, I gotta see what you're doing over there. I hope this damn four to dive. Unblockable. Yeah. I don't care what anyone says. He Good saved luck. it for so late in the set two final round moment again. Where does that beam go? You just send it straight down to the core? He's, he's just summoning Shinnok with that, that mix, man. He's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> -tap. oh no, Serena Blade. Earlier it was Jade that kept winning the battle between the cameo summons, and this time Serena will give under a great moment. And then no. a second time. He just so much respect, you gotta give him. So 50% life lead here. Does duck the stand four, blocks Serena just in the nick of time. The jump out. Still has Katana. There's no escaping this one here, so we kind of wait it out. Immediate it's break. Caught. That's Serena caught one of the fastest specials in this game, and Ludi. Sorry, not Ludi, sorry. I was just reading the bracket. <laughs> On the other screen. Ludi went on the word of this one, and it just may be. Quan He faces a full under's execution, is there, and it is. Will we have the brutal? The splat to the nether elm with you. I didn't know we were going to send him off. Just like that. Just up and Oh my god. Look at this thing. That's insane. <laughs> this is actually craftsmanship right there. I'm very impressed by that front of your mask. Chat, you don't get to see this right now, but it's a real treat to see. Oh, they can? Oh, yeah. I see the little mini. We're in the mini. We're in the mini. I see it. That's amazing. scars and everything? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Thing. Insane okay. quality. Okay, yeah. Tadion just says, can we put his name as Woody? I say, I say we do. Woody? All right, already got the stomp. Yeah, already kicking off this grand finals. Tied up in health, but resources certainly looking in favor for Wool Andy. Woody, if it's a troll, I do apologize. I hope that it does stand for, for, for winning Woody. Cause that's what we're here to see, baby. The screen connects, and that's a round on the board. He's starting this off right with a cushion, and now he's only, he's only five rounds away, and this is over. He can walk away, head held high. He's gonna pop off on Twitter. Oh, he'll pop off. Say, 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 Nerf Kenshi, and then go and then go about his business. <laughs> anyway, I just want to thank everybody who believed in me, uh, Nerf Kenshi, and I'll Nerf see Kenshi. you next time. <laughs> Ooh, to get the lick, not gonna find it. Is that what you're calling it? 
It's the it's the lick. You trying to take a lick? I don't know. That looks like it comes out of the tongue of something in Resident Evil. <laughs> a giant I, I, liquor? I, I, I don't need that in my life. A giant <laughs> liquor? I don't need that. Oh, You're already tough enough to deal with. Barely. Our wheel lift off. Oh my goodness. Looty! Yeah, damage output for Sindel against Quan Chi is just absolute. Oh, well. Ice knowing you. No. Game two, already strong start because immediately off the rip, it is that ice armor. Yeah. Similar to the last round, he's going to start with such a deficit here. And there was commitment there. Could have been two tapped. Yep. Guys, that's over $1,000 on the line right now. I need to step up. It's going to come back happen. It's been nothing but game five since semifinals and quarterfinals, I feel like, of this entire top eight. It looks like Ludi's trying to close this out. And the change that we're seeing here from Woolender is literally just the up block interactions more often against Ludi. Like, that was one takeaway that I have from that winner's final set. It's just trying to make the risk of the float to up block those opportunities to steal the turn, get a massive punish. We're seeing that way more in this set. Oh, Dust Shaker again, finish. Ends the string, probably looking for a defensive read there. Yeah. Was Woolender maybe jump or armor? Teleport, get underneath something. Stagger to throw that again. Something's saving. Bondus has been off the stand one. That could be a risk, and so is that low tentacle. He's gonna take him for a ride. Iced up, push recovery. That was the most hit advantage of any of the freeze cameos. Do a side switch. <gasps> yeah, oh, that's even, oh, even after the up block caught something. Every single time. You see this? You're seeing way more up block there because every interaction has been dash up and go for float. And Ludi is making that small recognition of, wait a minute, I see this happening more often, but is not able to interrupt that thought process, the muscle memory of continuing that overhead pressure. You see time and time again from Sindel. Ludi with a brutality, a 2-0. Yeah, even if Wolander wins this one, it's going to be a long road ahead. The dominance that Ludi has showcased simply with the Sub-Zero armor helping out time and time again, you get mixed in this corner. This is damage again, almost 400. Nice jab. This time around we do have Serena to help out, but will it really get that much mileage with all of the ice armor that's available here for Ludi? Oh nice. No to stop it. That's so here, really coming in clutch, the double Serena setup. Keep that those crazy normal ranges. And guys, I want to give you a reminder that there's big money on the line to the winner of this. They're going to be in this prize pool that is currently sitting at over $1,000. Rick, let's go ahead and bring it up. I think we're sitting at over 1100 now. No, it's going to stay at 1100 guys. If you'd like, if you'd like to donate, top of the live chats in the description below. As you get a fatal blow comeback start here for Looney. Wait a second. Everyone that makes the finale is getting into that prize pool. That's what the winner here gets. They get a medal. They're, they're playing for the trophy. They're playing for the prestige right now. And Ludi, a little bit of prime too. He's been so close time and time again through these series and through these grueling weeks and grinds. Whoa. That is the series there, but he caught a straight normal and advancement out of Woolender there. Kick, breathing a huge sigh of relief is that man right now. He just stopped the train in its tracks. And there is finally a great new space. Stand three, Uncle. Cool. Catching that smart. The second skull locks him into the cage. Yes, we got the zone of waste to strip away some of that meter. Gives armor to Quan Chi. We didn't imagine feeling himself a little too much right there. Looks like he woke up with some buttons trying to get super disrespectful on a man who has no oh, fear because no! it's his zone. And this just might be enough with the extension of the two bars. No, we won't get a dance yet, but it's going to be flawless. Interrupted by the down three. Oh, man. Some of my favorite plays from Ludi have been his ways of activating that ice armor while mm -hmm. avoiding stand four. That's kind of been yeah. key. Ooh, doesn't avoid oh, no. that whatsoever. Walked right into it. There's been a few times this one where he's just forward dashed. 
into some active frames, but that's that's been the rock, paper, scissors of these guys' reads. Yeah. Oh no, trying to go for air fireball and got jabbed out. Boy, vampires work today pretty. Locked in again. Don't resist the temptation to jump out! Just jump the cage, Zero. That's what we were told in the live audience. That's... Someone said just jump the cage. What are you doing? Ooh, and oh, no. and that string of of Sindelis doesn't even do enough damage to get rid of the cage either. That's unfortunate. Iced up. Tries to go for the fireball one more time. It's low. Oh, jeez. We're still able to get a confirm, though. There's the armor. Yeah, and opting to back off immediately after. Oh, that's crazy that the projectile goes behind the left side of the portal. But not the right side. Interesting. Yes. It's like a weird layering. Okay, okay. They didn't Photoshop that one right now. I, I guess that. <laughs> Ooh, skull pressure. Wait just a minute here. Not able to get the pickup, but the armor. Yo, you couldn't help but resist the press of down one right there, and Woolender knew it. That's why we felt so confident in setting up that overhead. He was giving himself some spirit energy with that one. Just summoning. Make you want to press behind armor. That's what's giving this character such firepower. Oh, clock! But the armor doesn't get the respan because of it. That's a unfortunate call there from Ludi. And I guarantee if we wanted to go for a scream restand, so we go right into Fatal Blow. But is he the messiah? What he says just seems to come to reality. And here we are in a sudden death. First hit, first blood in this one. Being drawn by Woolander. The sword finds its mark, and so does the tentacle, depending on what you're into. Woolander is literally just betting on the fact that Ludi can't help but resist to jumping out, and maybe that's exactly it. That's the point that you're making here, Aqua, is that Ludi can't help but resist the tentacle anti air. I mean, who would? When you've got a normal that's, that's just built like that. You just behind zones like this it. and Woolender working on reset point right now has once more nearly flawless this man Ludi who was riding I mean the momentum train yeah I mean even Woolender said in chat well I guess I'm downloaded I, that's just it all right two all in the set keep it locked in and Ludi not jumping this time not even setting up armor because we have only 50% cameo meter here for sub-zero Want to give some recovery time here to lessen the blow of that, but the dive kick comes through. Gotta be careful jumping. He's confirmed. Carry here. Doesn't need Serena to back us up anymore. We have the full screen scenario. And I, you know what? I'm cool with the double disc spend here from Serena because we already have the Serena curse anyways. With that zone of waste that we see here. That was so beautiful of Moody to know that he was going to be just outside the range. Like, he really risked it in yeah. betting on that armor not going to be in range. And this comeback is going to happen. It's going to be off of the boldness. As a sub-armor 2 must activate does, he immediately closes the gap. Moody playing this so smart right now. Oh, Close no. Oh, no. Game 7-Act 2. Oh. Oh. No, it was there. Are you kidding me? We saw earlier a down three that was active in this man, and it wasn't able to stop that fatal blow. In the same situation, nearly, when an aerial projectile does, and there's enough block. You want to see them? This man, Woolender, has put on a clinic for you. I greatly appreciate it. I, you know what? Everyone else could learn a thing or two from Woolender here. In terms of active defense. Take out a hand in a notebook. <laughs> put a note down. Write it, write it down. In ink. Yo, okay, we're playing footsies. I see. Fireball still has the Sub Zero armor. Ludi trying to return the favor here and catch up on this life lead that Woolender has set up. Oh, the float! This is reset point. This is tournament point right now. The craziness. The armor's back on. Walks right through. Good awareness. Just like that, we're caught up in health. Oh no! Oh, a block though on the floor! Full combo routing here for Woolender. What's the setup gonna be on the knockdown? It's gonna be the portal, and can he stop it? Can he try to armor to scream? No! You were betting on the fact that Woolender was gonna press a button 
right after the reset so you could potentially get that restand zero, zero. zero on a reset both players can change their characters and cameos this acts just like a zero zero situation here post reset and how reset works is now how Ludi hasn't lost this entire tournament until now. Everyone has two lives, even if you're in Grand Finals on the winner's side. You know, you still have those two lives, and thus, this man, Ruhlander, has to beat him twice. He has once, he has to do it again. This is a now first to three for the tournament, and Ludi getting started like he did those first two games post reset. Taking half of this man's life and put him in mixed town, and Ruhlander's sick and tired of it. He wants to put you in Portal Town, and the populations of these. I've only been one tonight. Sindel, the only visitor. Whoa. Is he able to escape in time? I thought that uplock was getting demolished. Yeah, I'm very su surprised at that recovery there. <laughs> Just to push away. Nice duck. Oh, he can't duck that one. Though. That's too low. Quarantine failing at Limbo and certainly going to get called out here. Justin Nikita, the armor's there. But because you were floating, you're still able to get a wall falling button. So we had to stand block there. That's probably Ludi's best pressure sequence through the portal as well. Mm -hmm. Backing up with actual block pressure. That time going to get the throw punish and Ludi starting this one off beautifully. He's it made some big reads through the portal. Yeah, it was game two that I started calling out the fact that Ludi is starting to recognize these up block sequences and the, the Rolodex of options for Ludi to recognize what that they could do to punish that. Seven goals below. He got the throw here. And now a scream restand. Ludi already with a massive life lead. Whew. We've all been there. We're working on a flawless victory. We're just feeling ourselves. Micro duck. Give your opponent a chance. Beautiful armor up, but right into the stand three you go and back into the game you play. Do you want to play a game? Even armored up, you're still trying to jump out of the cage here. The spike getting anti aired every single time for doing it. Right, you just gotta the keep armor. them on there. You just gotta keep them on their toes, keep them yeah. guessing. Oh! Not the block here. Ludi with a quick victory Seven here. Here. And it can fight. Do we keep up this aggression from Ludi? We hope so, right? And if you're if you're on the side of Ludi here. Because it does really pay off. We already got the scream. And at round start, setting up armor is crucial for Sindel here. Quick snap for the fast recovery. We get it right back and I think that Ruhlander was trying to make a read that he was going to read the unblock this time, and the mind games have begun. Here we go. Okay. The layers paying I off mean, right now as Ludi works on a near perfect right now. He's only taken five damage overall to the 1050 pool that he's got. Oh. He wants to teleport out and says, Back to the corner, you go. You ain't going nowhere. Looking right. very much like Submit those first two games parts. in that previous set, too. The recovery on that was absurd. I've had a moment where I press start down down X and then held right real quick. <laughs> if you know what I mean. All Ludi right now. I love how he hasn't given up a single bit on pressure from any single touch. Counter zone there. Nice punish on the stand four with the scream restand. Yeah, has to go for freeze reset. I think you need one more interaction after this in order to get. Yeah, one more interaction will get you the kill. Okay. Winner big swings out. Probably her walk back right there. He's made some great applications around the cage. Did not jump this time. Oh no, to catch the fork. What's the no no? Fatal blow. Raw right now, close enough for the kill. Oh, was it close enough for the jump and the connect it? It's gonna cost him. Ruhlander will be in the same, but he also does play Rain and was uh, doing really well with Rain early on in competitive MK1. So he loves him some full screen options. And Ludi is gonna let go of right there. I expected him to confirm that into something, either like a low projectile to keep Quan close, and it gave him some space. And with that space, Quan is doing his thing. I'm gonna put you back to full screen. Nice caged up though, and immediately armors. Like this is shades of what we saw in that first set that I kept talking about. Like respecting the fact that we are locked in a cage, there's very little that we can do to get out of it. So armor, avoid those projectiles, and challenge on the approach from Woolender if they so decide to make that approach. 
and from Portal full screen. screen. Because of the second one, able to get that, that big pickup. Sets up Fatal Blow. If you'd have believed right there in the Fatal Outer Cried. The throw. Enough for the kill and a perfect comeback by Woolander to get started. Okay. It is when he goes down 2 0. That's what he needs to activate. That's when he locks it. Backs that's against the, the that's wall. The kill there's switch. no escape. Yeah. <laughs> no, not the up block. Please. It hurts. It does 140. 210. That's a command grab, man. Gonna get the single, but at least get caged up. And again, Ludi being much more patient, not going for the jump anymore. Nice punish, and the fear is gonna pull you away. Oh, but for how long? Because it disappears just in the nick of time here for Ludi. Love this recognition that he's too far away from the portal again. Whoa! That was some so far. I think he was. Yeah. Oh. That one launched me. Oh, does have armor. No Serena spend the entire time that Ludi was in armor. There was absolutely no Serena to come out here. There's the block, but the armor, you didn't fall through. That was all you. He ate so much damage through the armor there. I think, I mean, it was a quick spend after that armor, but by the time it would have recovered back up, you would have been able to finish. Still got a round here. Try to get too cute there. I love that Ludi actually called out that hold of the, of the normal. Is it an overhead or a low? Because I, I still get hit by it every time. The, uh, which, which button for Paul? Is it back to? Um, no, the, the the overhead is the one where he charges with the, the green glow. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Every time to call it out, it's match point now. Oh. Tournament point, Ludi. Finale point. Is that how much is on the line? Over a thousand? Over I a need thousand. that. Over a thousand. And grow it, you know? With direct contribution to a match arena, much appreciated by the community. And there you see a perfect portal keeping Sindel from moving forward. That string, I think, would have advanced him forward enough for the punish. Instead, Woolender. This is a great spot here. Full screen. Don't you. Uh, not again. Not again. Not this close. Okay. Just a quick reminder there. Armor's up in the cage. Nice flow, but the final disc does come through, and that's a scoop. Strap yourselves in, guys. Still in favor for Ludi right now. That's my favorite play of Woolenders. I don't think I've ever seen another Quan have the audacity to just tentacle in neutral. <laughs> He'll just do it. And not stand three. The low tentacle that's minus 422 on block. You Great sucks. reaction with the teleport. Yep. And of course, we got enough meter drain back after that initial hit that we got another opportunity here for this portal of waste. Who avoids the mix? Here comes Waste one more time here. I know it's coming. But damage output, look at him favor for Ludi right now, despite you know, a couple stray hits. Scream really helped out for that restand. Got two boards to play with. Instead, he's holding some snow pressure. And that extra damaging forward throw of Sub Zero, that stuff adds up. Yeah, one, very one quickly. Hit and Ludi not wanting to risk. That breaker whatsoever. Ludi's on another match point. We've been here before. Can he close it out? Can he clutch it? Is Ludi gonna live up to that W that we put in his name? Will he win? The block here. Zone of ways. Gonna hold Ludi at bay because we're not gonna quite challenge. Nice, we avoided the armor here, but does get it at the last moment after the scream restand. And eventually caught up to him in an immediate cage. Welcome to the blender, buddy. I guess again. Did you even hit advantage? No. Full cool. combo. Me. I have expect them to restand into another. Oh my Hold god! Up. I didn't combo. I didn't do it anyway. And that was Wu Blender showing us what he's all about. And there's that distorted portal. You don't want to go through that one. That's the bad one. Yeah, that one is stretched way too far. You come out looking like a combat code went wrong. You know. <laughs> You want to know where up. meat is? That's exactly the portal where meat is. <laughs> That's where you're going to find him. Mocap 2 if you look hard enough. And Ludi, is this his moment to win a Coliseum? To be a finalist if you want to scream there, it could have been. Coming up, tries to get the cage set up. There's another waste, but because you go for Teleport in the Grand Finals it. reset.
On behalf of the Coliseum, thank you for watching. And if you think you've got what it takes to enter, check out the description below. If you want to get involved yourself, like and subscribe to the channel. Check out some of the previous events, and we'll see you guys for the next one.